Chapter 3621 Boom. Long Chen and Guo Ran rushed to the west of Hanning City. They destroyed a palace and violently tore up the ground. This was the treasury of the Luo clan. Boss, you're too brilliant. You even found this place. Guo Ran cried out emotionally when he saw endless spatial trunks full of treasures. What brilliance! The Luo clan set up spies within the human race, but the Dean also wisely played the same move and set up spies in the Luo clan. Without someone to provide support, how do you think we could so smoothly transport ourselves in? That fellow was also marked as a higher-up of the Luo clan. With a single soul search, all their secrets are exposed, said Long Chen. Only then did Guo Ran realize that this was all Zhu Yifen's preparations. He prostrated himself in admiration toward the dean. As the dean had said, everything was already prepared for Guo Ran. The dean had only been waiting for him to erupt. However, thinking carefully, even if the dean had prepared this path for him, he wouldn't be able to do it as well. He didn't have Long Chen's terrifying power in truth. What Yu Ran didn't know was that according to Zhu Yifen's plans, the best opportunity to make their move would only be after three to five years. However, due to Long Chen arriving, the plan had changed. Everything was moving in advance. At this time, it could be seen just how terrifying Zhu Yifen's stratagems were. The Luo clan's people went crazy when they saw the treasury was exposed. They charged at Long Chen, but the Starry River warriors stopped them. They were completely unable to get by. It was unknown just how many people were torn apart in this wild rush. Blood then soaked to the city. Yuo Ran was gathering the spatial trunks as quickly as possible. He didn't even care about anything else. To have been hidden by the Luo clan, these things were definitely treasures. On the other hand, Long Chen was wrapping the walls with his hand. He quickly heard an echo from one area. The wall was clearly hollow. Boss, are there even better treasures? Yuo Ran had sucked away all the spatial trunks. Seeing Long Chen's actions, he was even more excited. Long Chen took out the dagger once more and cut it across the wall. When a large hole appeared, Yuo Ran cried out in shock. Devil Dragon Black Metal. This wall contained another trunk, and it was made out of Devil Dragon Black Metal and was supported by formations as well. Long Chen didn't know how to unlock these formations, so he could only cut through them with his dagger. Damn, what is this dagger made out of? Even Devil Dragon Black Metal is as weak as paper in front of it. Guo Ran's expression changed. It had to be known that he was full of confidence in his Devil Dragon battle armor. Although he knew that Long Chen's dagger was terrifying, he had not expected it to be so sharp. Even Devil Dragon Black Metal was cut through like tofu. Hence, Guo Ran lost confidence. Only a ghost would know what this thing is made of. Back then, it almost took my life. Although I don't know its origins, such a thing is definitely extraordinarily rare. Your luck isn't so bad, so you likely won't run into a weapon like this. Don't worry about it, said Long Chen. Despite not knowing this dagger's origins, Long Chen could sense that it most definitely had an astonishing backstory. Why are there only two sheets of paper? Yuo Ran found that this trunk actually had nothing inside it other than two thin pieces of paper covered in words. At first, he had thought that it was perhaps for some cultivation technique. But then he saw the top sheet was actually a list of names. Could it be? Yuo Ran was shocked. Yes, it's a list of traitors of the human race. Only the leader of the Yuo clan is aware of its content. That leader should be rushing over here right now. He he. Everything is under control. As for the other sheet, Long Chen was just about to pick up the second piece of paper. Just then, Hanging City quivered. This novel is available on Noveloon. Come ha ha ha, they've arrived. Let's go take a look. 
Long Chen and Guo Ran flew out of the treasury. There was a chaotic battle outside. As for outside the barrier, it was vaguely possible to see countless battleships. The seven kinging battleships were attacking the barrier at full power. Seven rays of divine light converged on one point, and a concave depression appeared in the barrier. It seemed that they were trying to forcibly open a hole in the barrier. That way, they might be able to get through the apocalypse level of the barrier. Boss, let's have a decisive fight with them today. Seeing that it didn't seem likely for them to be able to get away from the huge lineup, Yua Ran's battle intense sword. No need. They are dogs driven into a corner. If we really fight directly against them, even if we win, we'll pay a steep price. After all, this particular battle is an internal battle within the human race. Even if you die in this battle, your name won't go down in history as anything famous. That's unfair to the Starry River Warriors. Gather everyone and we'll charge out the other way. I'll open the path. Long Chen had Guo Ran give orders, while he went to the other side of Hanying City. Hanying City was filled with corpses. The Starry River Warriors were crazily chasing down the traitors of the human race. As Guo Ran gave orders, they once more gathered. Like a furious arrow, they shot in the other direction. Boom! Long Chen's dagger stabbed into the barrier, instantly piercing it. Everyone then rushed out of it. Get onto the defensive battleship. Long Chen shouted. Guo Ran had long since summoned the Heavenly Dragon battleship. This was the highest level battleship of the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College, and it was a defensive battleship. Everyone jumped on. Just as they got on, they heard a huge explosion behind them. Boom! If the barrier was simply pierced through by the black dagger, it would continue functioning. But due to Long Chen piercing the barrier while the Liu clan's people also blasted an opening in the barrier at the same time, the barrier instantly lost any stability. It exploded. The Heavenly Dragon battleship was sent flying by the impact. It crashed through dozens of mountains, leaving a long gulch in the ground that spread all the way beyond the horizon. As for Hanging City, the explosion directly blew it into pieces. Other than the Kinging battleships, the other battleships were directly struck by that explosion and blown apart. The detonation of the formation was like a sun exploding. Its destructive power caused the entire All Devil Star field to quiver. The Heavenly Dragon battleship tumbled back an unknown distance away before crashing into a mountain and suddenly collapsing. Yuo Ran and the others came flying out wretchedly like peas thrown out of a bowl. Damn if it weren't for the Heavenly Dragon battleship. We have been killed. Yuo Ran was green with fear. The other Starry River warriors were now badly injured. Their battle armors were severely damaged. Even within the Heavenly Dragon battleship, they had received an immense impact. That explosion was truly terrifying. Gun, Long Chen's expression suddenly changed. He had Guo Ran summon another battleship, and they rushed off. Long Chen and the others had just flown into the air when they saw black clouds gathering in the distance. A terrifying aura made their souls feel cold. The old devil race has finally appeared. Guo Ran and the others' hearts rose up their throats. Chapter 3622 Endless figures came out from the depths of the old devil star field. As their violent devil kai filled the sky, the clear sky instantly became black night. A murderous aura also filled the world. This was an aura that Long Chen recognized. Back then, that beast of the old devil race that he had unleashed in Pill Valley also possessed such an aura. If we are surrounded by the old devil race, that will be troublesome. Guo Ran's expression changed. It's fine. They are not coming for us. They are probably going to Hanging City, said Long Chen. Boss, how do you know? If they are after us, they should be coming at us from every direction. 
even if they can't lie in wait in every direction at the very least they should be cutting off our path of retreat since they came out of the depths of the old devil starfield they were probably attracted by the battle my guess would be that the old devil race wishes to take advantage while the Luo clan and us engage in a life and death battle which would result in both sides being badly wounded after that they would come and wipe us all out said long chen as he eyed the endless devil beast army no way didn't the old devil race care deeply about spiritual contracts would they betray their oath so recklessly lang huey didn't dare to believe it that so-called spiritual contract is like a contract between businessmen many of the finer details are actually traps such things can't be relied upon after all the old devil race is essentially a branch of the devil race to do business with a group of devils the luo clan's people really are foolish i originally had a headache about dealing with the families of those traitors now it seems that i don't need to worry about them long chen sighed with a complicated expression although he hated the traitors many amongst their families were truly innocent perhaps when they were born their families had betrayed the human race and they simply didn't understand after dealing with the traitors there were still their descendants long chen would let them off but even if long chen let them off would the rest of the old devil starfield forgive them for the sins of their ancestors to get rid of weeds you had to pull them out by the roots an autumn chill would soon blow through this land of course long chen would not permit the old devil starfield's experts to kill the women and children while he was here the old devil starfield's people wouldn't dare to touch them but what about after he left it would be difficult for those people to escape their deaths after all many people had died to the Lua clan's traitors their ancestors left them with a blood debt that had to be paid despite all of long chen's wits he had a headache when it came to the descendants of those traitors he didn't know what to do with them however now that the all devil race's army had come long chen already knew what kind of fate those traitors had in store for them their battleship flew through the air as expected the all devil race didn't chase them they quickly saw the sun once more looking back in the direction of hanging city they merely saw a black world that made them feel cold long chen took out a jade tablet he looked at it for a long time before sighing and giving it to guo ran guo ran eyed it in confusion an image transmission jade this image transmission jade was a pair with the heaven peering jade the heaven peering jade was used for spying while the image transmission jade was what received everything from the heaven peering jade after giving guo ran the image transmission jade long chen walked to the tail of the battleship he quietly looked into the distance without saying a word guo ran and the others looked at each other not knowing what long chen meant by this lang huey suggested should we activate it and take a look everyone was very curious they looked at guo ran and guo ran activated the jade causing an image to appear in the air after that startled cries rang out it was an image of hanging city countless devil beasts were in the midst of devouring the corpses of the human race the luo clan's kinging battleships were blazing with divine light as they fought off the devil beasts trying to escape their encirclement the old devil race really has reneged on their agreement they are slaughtering the traitors Zai kyankian was shocked a quick look at navaloon calm will leave you more fulfilled hanging city was a complete wreck it was ruined beyond recognition other than the kinging battleships there was only a tenth of the original battleships those battleships were trying to break free with the lead of the kinging battleships despite them doing their best to get through the devil beasts there were simply too many of them boom suddenly 
A huge explosion shook the land, and a giant figure smashed a staff down on one of the King Ying battleships. It was a giant figure dozens of miles tall, with a white staff. The staff looked like it was made out of jade and was covered in strange marks. When it struck the King Ying battleship, it smashed it into the ground, leaving a crater. The giant roared, shaking the heavens and causing the land to darken. Moreover, his devil Kai filled the world, and his eyes were like two blazing suns. Standing there, he caused the ten thousand Daos to wail. Gyua ran and the others were horrified. They had never seen such a terrifying existence before. Slaughter all the humans. In the old devil race, what I, all devil Tian I, say is what counts. The ones to form contracts with the human race have been killed by me. Their agreement is void with us, shouted the giant, charging at the kinging battleship just like that. His staff then smashed down. The kinging battleship that he had just smashed down was struggling up when it was once more struck. After that, its protective divine light shattered and countless cracks covered it. When it struck the ground this time, it fell apart and armored experts came tumbling out. They had just appeared when countless devil beasts charged up and devoured them. Heavens, he destroyed a kinging battleship in two attacks. Just who is he? Lang Hui Zai Liur and the others' expressions all changed. It had to be known that the kinging battleships were said to be unrivaled. Their offense, defense, and speed were all unmatched and it was precisely due to this that people felt such hatred for the Luo clan. The kinging battleship was made to slay the old devil race, but they used it to kill humans. The human race both loved and hated the kinging battleship. But no matter what, the kinging battleship was still the strongest battleship in people's hearts. That was unquestionable. However, this strongest battleship was destroyed in two strikes by that expert, who called himself All Devil Tianai. They were horrified. Although Long Chen had also destroyed the Kinging battleships, this All Devil Tianai did it even more directly. He used pure power to destroy them. Most terrifying of all was that his aura was clearly only in the Divine Lord realm, but his power surpassed a late stage world king. Following All Devil Tianai's roar, his devil Kai swirled around him. He then summoned a manifestation, and with a single strike of his staff, he destroyed all of the kinging battleships. Boss, boss, look! Gua Ren suddenly cried out in terror. Long Chen was startled and hastily ran back over, looking at the image. When he looked at All Devil Tianai, All Devil Tianai suddenly turned and looked at him. It was as if he was seeing Long Chen and the others through space. He has spotted us. Yua ran, and the others were so terrified that their hair stood on end. A bloodthirsty devil beast had set his sights on them. Chapter 3623 Boom. Suddenly, the jade in Yuo ran's hand exploded. The image vanished, but all devil Tanai's merciless devil eyes that were full of killing intent were deeply imprinted in people's minds now. All of them were pale as paper. It was like they had just walked past the gates of hell. How terrifying! Their hearts were filled with fear. After all, that all double Tianai's gaze was absolutely terrifying. They couldn't even form a will to resist it. Just who is this person? He's a monster. Lang Huey was just as terrified. He had never seen such an existence before. With a single gaze, he could make their will crumble. Using mental energy to gaze back at us. This person really is terrifying. Having exchanged a glance with that person through space, Long Chen's heart shook. We must hurry back to the heavenly dragon domain. The real battle is about to erupt. A quick look at Nalva Loon Calm will leave you more fulfilled. When the battleship reached a secret transportation node, they directly returned to the college. As for that transportation formation, it was destroyed after one use. Their enemies wouldn't be able to follow them. When Long Chen and the others returned to the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College, 
Zhu Yifen and the other elders were waiting for them. We're abandoning the heavenly dragon domain. All of our resources are to be moved to the magnificent heaven domain. Bring everything that you can. Long Chen directly gave this order after returning. Blood, that's not possible. You want us to abandon everything we've had for so many years. It's unacceptable. Everyone was stunned by these orders, especially the college's senior experts. They firmly opposed this. We'd rather die here than leave, declared one elder furiously. Up to you. If you want to die, then stay here. Leave your corpses for the old devil race to enjoy. If you want to live, do as I say. Our time is very pressing. Every second that passes can decide life or death. I can't be bothered to explain things to a bunch of fools, said Long Chen coldly. Countless people admired Long Chen now. But to have these old fellows abandoned, the college was even worse than killing them. When it comes to the three major domains, the magnificent heaven domain possesses the greatest defensive power. The nine dragon veins underground support it, making it the most suitable for a long-term battle. We've all seen the recording. The old devil race raised the Yuo clan to use them against us while they were gathering their power. While the human race exhausted itself fighting each other, they raised their elites, so the power disparity in this battle is immense. We must know how to sacrifice. I agree with Long Chen's order, said a half-step divine venerate. Of course you agree. You're not the one abandoning your sect. You're home. You don't care, roared an elder of the heavenly dragon divine armor college. His face was already streaked with tears. The half-step divine venerate furiously retorted, Bullshit! This is called taking a look at the big picture, understood? Do we even have any leeway to choose in our current state? It's not just your home. So many people have been forced to abandon their homes just to squeeze into our three domains. Trillions of people have lost their homeland. Did you say anything when they lost their homes? As long as we win this war, we can rebuild our homes. If we lose our lives, who will look after those homes? The half-step divine venerates roars caused countless people to fall silent. The heavenly dragon divine armor college's disciples looked at the buildings around them, their eyes moistened. As for the elders, they were sobbing. They also knew that protecting lives was the most important thing. As long as they were still alive, they could still rebuild everything. But they were unwilling to leave this place. Abandoning the college was a kind of humiliation. We will act according to Long Chen's orders. All people within the Heavenly Dragon domain must leave. The Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College will be the first to mobilize, shouted Zhu Yifen. However, when people looked at Zhu Yifen, they found that he had lost his normal calm. He looked as if he had aged a great deal all of a sudden. As the dean, the college was his life. He probably felt the worst out of everyone to give this order. With even the dean giving the order, the others finally stopped resisting. Lowering their heads, they got to work on moving with tear-stained faces. I'm sorry, dean. Long Chen looked at Zhu Yifen. This wise elder that always appeared as if everything was under his control was finally showing his pain and helplessness. Zhu Yifen shook his head and forced out a smile. A man can plan as much as he wishes, but he cannot outplan the heavens. I, Zhu Yifen, spent half a lifetime planning. I thought that everything was under control, but now I find that it's a huge joke. If it weren't for you coming, the old devil star field would be doomed. The old devil race was always a brainless existence. But the more brainless an existence is, the more unpredictable it is. My plan was to raise Guo Ran into a hero over several years, and he would lead the human race in a counterattack. But the old devil race won't give us that chance. I even said that you came too early, saying that you caused my plan to fail. Thinking back, 
I really am foolish. Zhu Yifen had spent a lifetime planning and scheming. He rarely made any mistakes. But this time, his meticulous plans were completely meaningless. He knew that the old devil race wasn't really planning on using the Luo clan to subdue the human race. They only intended on using the Luo clan to cause some trouble for the human race before wiping them all out. However, unexpectedly, the All Devil Racy's movements were incredibly quick. They had all seen All Devil Tianai, so Zhu Yifen knew that All Devil Tianai was not drawn over. No, he directly came to kill. In other words, the battle between the Luo clan and the human race meant nothing to him. All Devil Tianai had come to kill the human race and had not appeared at that time due to some plan. They had only run into each other due to coincidence. The old devil race had simple brains, so they didn't know what planning was. They would simply fight if they were strong enough and recover if they were wounded. Once they recovered, they would fight again. Back then when the Luo clan surrendered to the old devil race, it would be more accurate to say that the Luo clan had taken the initiative to find the old devil race. They offered advice to the old devil race. The Luo clan promised the old devil race that they would subdue the human race without the old devil race needing to lose a single soldier. They then had the old devil race form a contract with them guaranteeing that the old devil race wouldn't kill them once they won. However, neither the Luo clan nor Zhu Yifen had thought that huge changes would occur within the old devil race during this time. The All Devil race actually had tens of thousands of branches, and their interior was also a fight for authority and position. This All Devil Tianai was a powerful expert with an immense background. He directly declared himself overlord of the All Devil Star Field when he took over. He then ordered the attack on the human race without caring about the Luo clan. It just so happened that he had come as Long Chen, and the others attacked Hanging City. If Long Chen and the others had left one step slower, the consequences would have been unimaginable. Just thinking about it made Zhu Yifen sweat and feel a burst of fear. Under the Dean's orders, the Heavenly Dragon Domain's experts rapidly moved, and the Celestial Essence sect also started moving. All their resources were gathered in the magnificent Heaven Domain. Calculating the time, the enemy army should take seven days to reach this place if they are fast, and ten days if they are slow. We have to hurry. Leave that old devil Tianai to me. As for the others, it will be up to you. Long Chen stood at the peak of magnificent Heaven City. He looked into the distance, his blood starting to heat up. Chapter 3624 The Old Devil Starfield situation was growing increasingly tense, so everyone was wearing their battle armors at all times. Even some elders with one foot in the grave had taken out the old battle armors they had used back in the day. They already prepared themselves for another battle. Also, the various powers had taken out all their battleships. No one dared to hold back in the slightest at this time. They had a total of 800,000 battleships, which had been distributed into proper ranks. 300 million warriors were gathered. Originally, Zhu Yifen wanted Long Chen to give them some simple training so that they could cooperate in battle. After all, there were so many of them that it was all too easy for them to end up fighting chaotically. Surprisingly, though, Long Chen refused. He said that he wanted to focus all of his energy on training the Starry River warriors. They would be the main force in this battle. Almost 550,000 people had awakened the Starry River manifestation, and those capable of drawing in astral energy into their bodies numbered 360,000. Long Chen ordered Guo Ran and the others to help those disciples forge their own Starry River battle armors. He also told the Starry River warriors that they were the main force in this battle, and they had to be mentally prepared. The only gratifying thing was that the battleships that they had stolen from the Luo clan could mostly be directly used. The Kinging battleships in particular 
were only lightly damaged. With just minor repairs, they could be used. Now, the Kinging battleships became one of their strongest weapons. Everything is going too quickly. If we were given just another year, or even half a year, we wouldn't fear anyone. The Celestial Essence sect's patriarch, as well as the other elders, were with Long Chen. Watching as everyone worked hard, the patriarch sighed. And why would we have to fear anyone now, though? Long Chen smiled. Dean Long Chen, are you really so confident? Asked a half-step divine venerate. Of course I am confident. Remember, when the human race's hearts are united, there is nothing that they can't do. The history that Big Brother Zayed Yuang went through last time will not replay. This is what it means when the waves wash away the sand, leaving behind only the gold. Battle is like a magic mirror that reveals all the ghosts and monsters. Unrivaled heroes are born through destiny, rising like clouds above the world. As the times change, the only ones capable of leading an era are heroes. Those that can spill their blood and sacrifice their lives to protect the people, those that can forget death on the battlefield and slaughter their enemies, are all heroes. We have so many heroes on our side. We will definitely win this battle, said Long Chen with utmost confidence. When it comes to heroes, Dean Long Chen is the real unrivaled hero. You and Zayad Yuang are both heroes of our old devil star field, praised the patriarch of the celestial essence sect. The patriarch felt utmost reverence for Zayad Yuang, and Lon Chen's display made him feel like he was seeing Zayed Yuang from all those years ago. Long Chen shook his head. Those that can fight together on the battlefield are all called heroes. Only I don't count. Why is that? Long Chen smiled. Because other people set foot onto the battlefield knowing that they will die but are still fearless. That's a hero. But I don't believe that there's anyone capable of killing me on this battlefield. His tone was very flat, but it was overflowing with a heroic and arrogant feeling. Even so, this arrogance was actually very heartening to everyone. This was the confidence of a supreme expert. In the past few days, Long Chen had stopped training. Instead, he focused on maintaining a calm heart and watched as Guo Ran trained the Starry River Warriors. A quick look at Navaloon Calm will leave you more fulfilled. Report. The All Devil Race's army has appeared. They have not gone to the Celestial Essence Domain or the Heavenly Dragon Domain. Instead, they are coming directly for the Magnificent Heaven Domain. It is estimated that they will arrive here in just six hours. A scout came to give a report. Their enemies had already reached their surveillance area. Six hours. Hearing this, the entire people in the city tensed up and they turned a bit pale. This battle would decide all of their lives. Naturally, they were nervous. The whole city will enter the highest level of alert, and the formation is also to be activated. Battleships, get in line. Prepare for battle, shouted a half-step divine venerate. After that, an alarm blared. Everyone once more checked over their equipment and got into position. The 360,000 Starry River warriors quickly got into position as well. Their movements were clearly a bit messy, and some people even took the wrong place in their nervousness. They blushed, wishing to find a hole to bury themselves in. Upon seeing this, Guo Ran's expression wasn't very good. He was about to chide them when Long Chen stopped him. Long Chen smiled and said, This isn't something to feel bad or embarrassed about. Seeing you, it feels like I'm looking at my brothers back in the day. I remember when I started training, I also cried for my father and mother. Don't think that Guo Ran looks so illustrious now. Let me tell you, back then he was the one crying the worst. Boss, can you give me some face? cried Guo Ran. The Starry River warriors laughed. They couldn't imagine someone as powerful as Guo Ran having such a side, 
so they instantly felt much better inside. Experts are all weaklings who grow stronger step by step. No one is born strong. To tell the truth, this battle is coming too quickly, and it's not giving you time to grow. Every single one of you still has immense potential to grow. However, this is nothing to complain about. You'll find that this world will never give you enough time. If this world gives you time, you'll slack off and won't have a sense of urgency. You'll be satisfied with just getting by. Think carefully. Weren't you slacking off back then? Did you feel like your days were very relaxed? Do you now regret wasting so much time and energy? If you were working this hard back then, then even if you didn't reach the level of Zai Liuer, Leng Hui, and the others, you wouldn't be that far from them, right? If you had known that the old devil race's army would come for you sooner, would you have cultivated like you had before? Unfortunately, this world doesn't have so many ifs. Thus, I can tell you that experts are existences that are forced to appear. Growth is accompanied by pain and injury, life and death. An expert must walk the path of tempering through fire and blood, of struggling through endless pain. Right now, all of you are walking the path of experts. Furthermore, experts have no room to retreat. They can only advance forward. Just then, the world shook, and the devil Kai gushed toward them from the distance like a tide. The old devil race's army had yet to even arrive, but their devil Kai was already reaching these experts, covering the sky. The path of an expert has no shortcuts. Don't be afraid on the battlefield, because you will see me right at the front. Long Chen was already walking out of the city. He appeared outside the defensive formation. Starry River warriors, assemble. Today, we will kill them until the world flips. We'll use the fresh blood of the old devil race to dye our land, shouted Gua Ran. Kill! Three hundred and sixty thousand Starry River warriors roared along with him and charged out of the formation. Following that, the battleships rumbled behind them. Millions and millions of warriors came out of the barrier. Just then, an endless army of devil beasts appeared. They were like millions and millions of roaring mountains. Long Chen instantly spotted the old devil Tianai at the front. He suddenly stamped on the air, shooting out like a bolt of lightning. Traversing a space of tens of thousands of miles in an instant, all on his own, he charged into the old devil army. Chapter 3625 Seeing Long Chen charging out, Zai Liuer, Lang Hui, and the others were about to follow when Guo Ran raised his hand to stop them. Everyone, don't be reckless. I am now the general of the Starry River Legion, and all orders will come from me. Boss is launching a preemptive attack to blunt their offense. We cannot mess around now that he has created this opportunity for us, shouted Guo Ran. Just as Guo Ran finished talking, Long Chen arrived in front of all devil Tianai. The Hanuming saber slashed down with a whistling gust, striking like lightning. A little human also dares to brandish their claws. All devil Tianai swung his staff, directly receiving Long Chen's attack. Boot! Two immense forces crashed together, unleashing a huge explosion. At this moment, the entire world seemed to flip. Flying sand and rubble blew through the air, and the earth was torn asunder. A huge wave of earth soared into the sky. The Devil Beast army was impacted by this clash and came to a sudden stop. Countless giant figures were sent flying by the shockwaves, like boulders flying through the air. As Long Chen and All Devil Tianai's power erupted like volcanoes, a pillar of blood kai soared into the heavens, piercing the very bindings of the world. When their blood kai erupted, the whistling sound became an ear-piercing boom that caused the world to quiver. A little devil also dares to be arrogant. Is being a dog of Lord Brahma something to be proud of? Long Chen pressed down on all devil Tianai's staff and shouted, What nonsense are you shouting? 
Lord Brahma simply has a collaboration with the All Devil Race. You dare to insult the All Devil Race's name? What awaits you is only death, roared All Devil Chanai angrily. Collaboration? What a huge joke. Your All Devil Race is treated like housebits to be raised by Lord Brahma. They are sealed in trial regions and used like tools. You have the face to call it a collaboration? sneered Long Chen. Suddenly, an image appeared behind Long Chen. It was the image of that monster from the old devil race breaking free from its seal, cursing Lord Brahma, and slaughtering the disciples of Pill Valley before ultimately dying in Pill Valley. This was precisely the scene from the mortal world when Long Chen had inadvertently unleashed a monster from the old devil race. All devil flame spirit beast. When all devil Tianai saw that scene, his expression instantly changed. He recognized that monster. Do you see? The all devil race is nothing more than a pawn of Lord Brahma, no different than a dog. After being used, you're tossed aside for his descendants to eat, sneered Long Chen. We are not alone, come find us on Google. Damn Brahma, you dare to treat my all devil race like this roared all devil Chanai. However, you're nothing good either. Your human race should have never been born in this world. I will eradicate you from this world today. All devil Chanai roared and devil Kai erupted out of his body, along with a manifestation. It was vaguely possible to see an ominous beast inside of it. That beast unleashed a desolate Kai. Following that, the earth was torn apart while mountains and rivers quivered. People stared in horror at all devil Chanai. They were unable to imagine what kind of power this was. Starry sea births violet Kai, Long Chen shouted. At this moment, his divine ring lit up behind him, and violet he gushed out of it. A starry sea then appeared within his divine ring. Both the void exploded, sending a ripple that spread like exploding fireworks. It was beautiful and dazzling, yet fatal. This violent force changed the terrain, and countless old devil experts were sent flying miserably, hacking up blood. Old devil Tianai was actually forced back just from Long Chen's eruption of power. With every step he retreated, the land collapsed. Moreover, Countless devil beasts were struck by the shockwaves and turned into blood mist. Those devil beasts were all mid- or late-stage world kings. But in front of the power exuded by the two of them, they were as weak as ants. Inferior human, you. Old devil Tianai roared furiously. He hadn't expected Long Chen to possess this much power. His aura was still in the midst of climbing to its peak, when Long Chen interrupted him, making him unable to freely unleash his power. Thus, he was repeatedly forced back. Just as he roared, Long Chen's waiting left hand found the chance to slap him in the face. All Devil Tianai was originally being gradually forced back, but with this slap, he instantly lost his balance and was sent flying like a shooting star. He was like a meteor, leaving a bottomless ditch in the ground. A batch of devil beasts in that area vanished. All of them were smashed to death by all devil Tianai. Humans are the spirit of ten thousand creatures, standing at the pinnacle of the heavenly Tao's. Moreover, you transform into human form yet call the human race inferior. Is your head full of crap? Long Chen appeared like a god when he slapped all devil Chanai. He was incredibly arrogant, truly like a divine being looking down on mortals. This slap was not just a simple slap on all devil Tianai's face. It was also a slap that sent the fear in people's hearts away, a slap that let them see the dawn of victory. Starry River Warriors, follow me. Use the blood of our enemies as a testament to our heroism. We will protect the families that stand behind us. Avenge our ancestors. Kill. Seeing the moment arrive, Kyo Ran's saber came flying out of its sheath. He directly gave the order to charge, and his devil dragon battle armor lit up. Kill. 
three hundred and sixty thousand starry river warriors roared together even in the face of endless devil beasts they didn't show any fear what they had was overwhelming hatred after fighting for countless years the enmity between the two races had sunk into their souls warriors of the human race the call of war summons us this is our life and death battle we will follow the path of experts slaughtering our enemies our battleships will crush the bodies of our foes our divine weapons will cut off their heads we fight for our territory we fight for our families and we fight so that our descendants can grow in our homes pill the celestial essence sect's patriarch also gave his orders and countless battleships flew out even zuyifin and the other half-step divine venerates came out in their battle armors a huge battle erupted this was a truly bloody battle at this point no one had any more fear as long as they set foot on the battlefield their lives were no longer their own all they could do was do their best to slay more enemies the endless devil beast army also attacked under the leadership of the old devil experts the old devil race possessed the ability to transform there were over ten million of them every single one of them being a powerful expert split the heavens guo ran's armor blazed his black saber then pointed at the heavens and slashed down forcibly tearing a path through the enemy army zai liuer lang huey and the others followed close behind him in a triangular formation they stabbed into the enemy army boom suddenly a powerful explosion erupted an old devil expert smashed his spear down and over ten starry river warriors were blasted apart along with their battle armors seeing this guo ran and the others were appalled chapter three thousand six hundred twenty six this was a peak expert one of all devil tianai's left and right hands seeing that the starry river warriors were unstoppable he changed targets from breaking through the city to coming here a group of ants is all you are accept your deaths struggling will only bring you greater pain announced that expert his blood kai erupted bringing with it an irresistible divine pressure fuck you you ant i'll kill you q ran roared the battle had just started and he couldn't allow their morale to receive a setback right now otherwise the atmosphere that long chen had created would vanish the human race's warriors might look imposing at this moment but compared to this endless sea of devil beasts they were like a single leaf on top of the sea if they couldn't obtain victory through a single burst of power then it would ultimately be the human race that was wiped out here long chen had already told guo ran that if only the two of them survived this battle it would be the greatest humiliation of their lives they would not have managed to lead the human race to victory in his rage Kua Ran didn't even care about anything else. He raised his saber. Split the heavens, too. This was something that Long Chen had just taught him. Through constant research, Gua Ran finally found a way to inscribe the runes onto his armor. This was his strongest trump card at the moment, although it was supposed to be saved to protect his life at a critical moment. He couldn't bother with that now. His full power erupted. Kuo Ran's battle armor rumbled. Due to igniting the power of his battle armor, the speed at which this attack was unleashed was even faster than when Long Chen used it. In terms of pure killing power, it was not at all inferior to Long Chen's attack. You dare to kill my brothers. I'll go all out against you. Kuo Ran roared. At this moment, a man and a saber became one. This saber was filled with the resolution to either succeed or die trying. In his fury, Guo Ran finally managed to comprehend the true essence of split the heavens. Boom! That all devil expert blocked with his full power only for his spear to be shattered and his arms to be broken. He then tumbled back, hacking up blood. 
Guo Ran's attack gave him a serious wound. Bang! Guo Ran stamped on the ground and shot after him, not giving him a chance to rest. Unfortunately, at this moment, over ten all devil experts blocked Guo Ran at the same time, forcing him back. Seeing this scene, Guo Ran was shocked and enraged. These all devil experts were actually so powerful. He was unable to charge through them, and this made him lose his best chance to kill that enemy. In truth, if Guo Ran had taken a greater risk, he would have had a very high chance of killing the expert. But if he charged so deep into the enemy army like that, the Starry River Legion would lose its general. To throw the entire legion into danger just to kill a single person was definitely taboo for a general. After failing with this attempt, Guo Ran retreated back to his troops and gave orders, organizing the battle formation. Boot. But all of a sudden, a huge explosion caused the land to deform. The people fighting were thrown into the sky. What? Whether it was the humans or the old devils, they were startled by this. It was like some giant beast was breaking out of the ground. Moreover, the earth was moving like waves, and the sky was resonating with it. Two lights were clashing underground. It was those lights that were completely deforming the land. Its boss Long Chen, Lang Huey and the others cried out in shock. At some point, Long Chen and all devil Chianai had entered the ground. When both of them unleashed their full power, they caused the earth to deform. What kind of power is this? When they saw their power causing such a phenomenon, countless jaws dropped. Heavens! The magnificent heaven city is flowing away. A startled cry rang out. People hastily looked over to see that the magnificent heaven city was moving further and further away from the battlefield. It was wrapped in a barrier, but the world was no longer stable as the earth roiled. In other words, the magnificent heaven city really was flowing away. The nine dragon veins underground were one with the city. As long as the dragon veins remained, the city could not be broken. Hence, for such a phenomenon to occur, it could only be said that the entire land was moving. Even the nine dragon veins were flowing away along with the magnificent heaven city. Pull back the battle line. Maintain a set distance with the formation. Guo Ran immediately gave new orders when he saw this. The magnificent heaven city's formation was their greatest barrier on this battlefield. The human race's stock of resources within the old devil star field were all invested in that formation. It was capable of attacking and defending. Thus, if it left, the human race would have to pay a terrifying price. The formation was their greatest aid, possessing immense killing power as long as they had it but they definitely couldn't let their enemies reach it. The optimal scenario was to keep the enemies away from the barrier while still keeping them within firing range. With the human race's resources, they could kill as many enemies as they came. But the crux of this battle was keeping their enemies at a set distance away. Unfortunately, they could only preserve this distance by using people's lives. So, whether it was the Starry River warriors or the people in the battleships, they all knew their duty. They had to block their enemies outside the formation. They didn't have such high hopes of slaughtering all their enemies with this formation, so their current goal was merely to lower their enemies' morale, cutting off their assault. It would be far too dangerous if the devil beasts reached the city. The shifting terrain caused the city to retreat and this turned into a blessing for the human race. They could now retreat as they fought, reducing the pressure and lowering their casualties. As the battle line slowly retreated, the Starry River Legion's battle formation changed, switching from offense to defense. At the rear, the battleships unleashed their full firepower, constantly shooting the enemy army in front of the Starry River Legion. Find the original at Navaloon Com at the same time, the formation launched long distance attacks. Rays of divine light fell as if they cost no money at all. 
As a result, explosions erupted within the enemy army repeatedly, and every attack brought with it a rain of blood. The earth had long since been dyed red. Blood and carnage covered the land. As Kuo ran and the others fell back, they got further and further away from Longchen and all Devil Tianai. Yet, both of their auras grew increasingly oppressive. Because of this, the pressure that Guo Ran and the others felt didn't lessen in the slightest bit even as they fell back. All they could see were two balls of divine light repeatedly clashing. Space in that area was constantly collapsing, tearing, and crumbling. As both of their blood kiss were blazing, their clash created a zone of absolute death. With the Mingong saber in his hand, Long Chen pressed all devil Tianai. Both of their auras were crazily climbing, and their eyes were locked on to the other. Killing intent erupted out of both of them. Excellent. The human race has finally produced a decent opponent. This will make my trial more brilliant. I'm getting excited. All Devil Chan I smiled at Long Chen sinisterly, revealing a mouthful of sharp teeth. He was like a bloodthirsty beast eyeing his prey. Devil Kai swirled around him. At this moment, the roaring of an ancient beast vaguely came from his manifestation. That sound was minuscule at first, as if it came from a far-off world in the past. However, as time passed, the sound grew louder. Now, it was like thunder roaring. No one knew just what kind of beast it was. Chapter 3627 I, Long Chen, have spent a lifetime fighting countless battles. I swept through whole worlds, slaying so many demons, devils, ghosts, and other monsters that I cannot even remember them all. If I wasn't in battle, I was on my way to the next battle. You are a toad at the bottom of a well and only know how to brag. I've grown numb to toads like you. I don't know how many of you I've trampled, so I'm not interested at all, retorted Long Chen in the face of all Devil Tianne's arrogance. Ignorant, foolish, and overconfident. Do you not know that in the desolate era your human race was at the bottom of the food chain? At that time, the human race was nothing more than servants of my all devil race. All of you were livestock that we raised, said all devil Tianai sinisterly. The human race truly did have a difficult time surviving in the desolate era. At that time, they were considered the wealth of the various large races. It can be hard to make great work when it's stolen from Navaloon. Come, however, the human race was smart and capable of creating all kinds of tools. They could help their masters invent things that they couldn't. With how weak the human race's physical bodies were, those powerful races didn't feel any threat from them at all. Hence, the human race was raised like tools. That period of history was an indescribable pain to the human race, a humiliation that could not be washed away. Hearing these words, all the humans of the All Devil Star Field were enraged at having this scab picked at. At the same time, they felt immense pain. Long Chen furiously replied, Idiot, there is no eternal hegemon in this world. The sun rises and falls, the moon waxes and wanes. The times are always changing. The past era belonged to you, but I am telling you that the current era definitely belongs to our human race. As long as I, Long Chen, am present, the human race will definitely stand at the pinnacle of the ten thousand races. Other races will kneel to us. As for idiots like you, you will only be fit to pay tributes to us, living off of our mercy. Long Chen's voice was like an imperial edict. When he shouted, the world quivered and the ten thousand Daos cried. Echoes rang out. It was as if he was the ruler of the immortal world, as if his word could not be defied. As his voice echoed throughout the world, adding on his power, that suppressed all devil Tianai's aura, countless people felt their blood burning with battle intent. Bullshit! The human race is only fit to be slaves. Your very nature is to be slaves. Otherwise, 
why would the human race produce so many traitors that betray your own race and submit to my grand old devil race old devil tanai roared furiously old devil manifestation devil see night tide sound get out here just then old devil tanai's blood kai reached a critical level and erupted previously his aura had been leaking out as if there was a crack in the dam now it was like the dam had collapsed endless devil kai formed a terrifying tide scouring against heaven and earth in an instant old devil chanai's power soared by multiple times this was a power that sparked a despair the world was practically unable to endure it as the devil kai crashed against the world people could see heavenly Tao energy being gradually forced away the dark tide seemed to transform the world into a devil world when the black tide appeared the old devil experts as well as the devil beasts had their blood kai ignite it was as if they had gone crazy they attacked the human race's army frenetically at this moment they seemed to have lost their intelligence their eyes were red with a crazed desire to kill and they had no fear the pressure on the human race's army instantly increased inferior human now do you know the difference between us the human race's power is as weak as an ant all devil tianai was within the sea of devil kai appearing to be an unmatched devil king his arms bulged and long chen was instantly blown off of him as long chen took several steps back the void collapsed beneath his feet power you want to compete in terms of power with me even i don't know just how much power i have right now little toad have a look at what real power is following long chen's cry ninety-nine stars lit up within the sea of stars behind long chen his clothes fluttered despite there being no wind the next moment a vast endless power unfurled dragon blood battle armor six star battle armor long chen's blood kai was fully circulating he finally unleashed his full power violet kai and stars then swirled around long chen it was as if he was a celestial god of the stars as long chen's blood kai rumbled a dragon cry resounded throughout heaven and earth the sacred dragon might then mixed with long chen's astral energy Yuo Ran's body also shook as he felt the dragon blood in his body resonating with it. It was like he had been injected with chicken blood, and his entire body was full of power. At the same time as Long Chen drew the stars into his body, the 360,000 starry river warriors felt endless starry energy flooding into their bodies. Their battle armors automatically rumbled. Their battle armors actually formed a resonance with Long Chen's manifestation. Just like that, a portion of the astral energy that Long Chen drew in entered their bodies. Pill. Yuo Ran felt his head buzz. Fair. Cowardice. They had nothing to do with him any longer. It was as if he had become a true dragon, possessing endless arrogance and domineeringness. He wanted to slaughter all of his enemies kill the three hundred and sixty thousand starry river warriors were also affected by long chen they didn't even need to do anything to draw in astral energy they could directly summon an endless stream of energy and it was so much that they couldn't even use it all under gua ran's lead the starry river legion which was originally being suppressed after the devil tide appeared launched a crazy counter-attack like madmen they slaughtered the experts of the old devil race the old devil race had entered a state of madness but now the three hundred and sixty thousand starry river warriors had also erupted with unprecedented power they were fearless upon seeing this zhu yifen the patriarch of the celestial essence sect and the others immediately ordered the battleships to cooperate with the starry river warriors helping them block the incoming attacks and lessening the pressure on them as much as possible they could also tell that this battle was going just as long chen planned the starry river warriors were their main force 
and the human race's victory or defeat depended on them. Since this was the case, the old experts had to do their best to protect them. However, they also knew that victory or defeat depended 99% on Long Chen. Seeing him standing in the air, unleashing an unrivaled aura, even these old fellows felt their blood heating up. If they weren't in command of troops, they would have the urge to charge head first into the battle as well. Regretfully, Long Chen had given the half-step Divine Venerates the mission of protecting the Starry River warriors and the city. They had to obey orders. They also knew that their position was important, as no one could replace them. No matter how strong you are, can you compete with the great All Devil race? All Devil Tianai roared. Both of their auras grew crazily. One had a Devil Kai tied behind him, and the other had a starry sea with violet Kai. A black and a violet sphere repeatedly clashed. It was like two worlds crashing against each other, resulting in ear piercing explosions that caused the world to lose its original color. Chapter 3628 What an Overconfident Fool! Humans are the spirit of the ten thousand creatures. We control the ten thousand Daos. Since you refuse to submit, I'll beat you into submission. Tighten your packs. Long Chen raised his head and roared. In his full firepower state, it was like he was wrapped in violet Kai battle armor. What does that mean? demanded all devil Tianai. It means that when I beat the crap out of you, I'd rather not get splashed by it, shouted Long Chen. Aye, I'll fucking kill you. All devil Tianai instantly exploded with rage. The black tide behind him flowed, and his staff mobilized the full black tide around him. This was an attack that seemed completely unstoppable. I'll be the one killing you. Long Chen refused to show any weakness. At this moment, the Minghong saber rumbled and stars flowed on top of it. When starry energy merged into the Minghong saber, it let out an excited cry. It was like a bloodthirsty beast that smelled fresh blood. Boom! We are not alone. Come find us on Google. Violet light and black light twisted and clashed. The two of them struck each other in an exchange that destroyed the world around them. Because of them, the sun and moon in the sky were gone, and the stars could no longer be seen. All people could see was a dark world of violet and black. Die! After those two world-shaking attacks struck, both of them roared, and began to unleash a crazy tempest of attacks. They refused to retreat even an inch. With how crazy they attacked, it was as if the person to retreat a single inch first would be completely humiliated. This was no longer a battle between two people. Now they fought for the honor of their race, so neither of them could afford to lose. One was the peerless heavenly genius of the all devil race, while the other was a peerless expert of the human race. Their fight seemed to bring about the apocalypse upon this world. How is all devil Chanai so terrifying? If the all devil race was like this before, we'd have long since been exterminated. The celestial essence, sect's patriarch, was shocked and amazed as he watched that distant battle. The world there was constantly collapsing and breaking. All devil Chanai was an absolute monster. His power suppressed the heavenly Daos. Under this condition, their battle armors would lose most of their effect. After all, while a portion of their power came from themselves, another portion came from the heavenly Daos. Legend has it that the all double race has over three thousand emperor races. Within the emperor races, if they produce a powerful expert, they will send them to a trial to accumulate power. Every hundred thousand years, the All Devil race supposedly carries out a gathering of peak experts. Sixteen competitors will then appear amongst the three thousand emperor races to fight for the All Devil imperial lord's inheritance. Those qualified to join the trial must be the ones fighting for those sixteen spots. All Devil Tianai had previously said that he came for a trial, 
so all of this is nothing more than a game to him. It is said that back then, when Zayed Yuhong charged into the devil world, he killed three of the old devil race's peak experts. It's said that one against three, Zayed Yuhong killed one, crippled one, and made one flee. However, he also paid a terrifying price. It seemed that he left behind half of his life inside the devil world. But only Zayed Yuhong and a few of his trusted comrades saw that battle. They vanished after returning and never mentioned anything about that battle again. Hence, no one else knows the details of that battle. Even this information is considered a rumor. But seeing how terrifying all devil Tianai is, it can be seen why someone as powerful as Zai Yuang would almost lose his life, said Zhu Yifen with a sigh. Brother Yifen, I previously looked down on you, feeling that among our nine top experts, your old slippery bones were the most useless. Now I admit that I misjudged. In truth, amongst the nine of us, I'm the most useless. Perhaps only you have the power to ask such a genius for aid. Otherwise, our all-devil star field would be doomed. Ha, that slap was well done, said the patriarch of the celestial essence sect. The patriarch no longer felt any hatred for Long Chen, even though Long Chen had slapped him in the face and cut off his head. Now, he even felt like he deserved it. Brother Chang Xing, I also admire that magnanimity of yours. For us brothers to be able to witness this battle, we are seeing the hope of the human race rising. Ehe, even if these old bones of mine have to be buried today, I can now face our ancestors with a smile, said another half-step divine venerate. He was gratified. At this time, the 360,000 Starry River warriors were bravely killing their enemies. They were fearless. As long as the human race could pass through this tribulation, the old fellows believed that this group of starry river warriors would do a better job for the human race than they had done in their time. Only when the era comes do geniuses appear. The new generation will surpass the old. Although it's a bit painful for the old generation, it must be accepted. Dean Yiffen is correct. We are only witnesses. The old devil star field truly is lucky. Back then, Zai Guhong was present to lead us in battle. Now, we have Dean Long Chen striving to save us from this crisis. I'm confident that even without us, the human race will enter a long period of peace after this, said Zhu Yifen. All of them exchanged a look and suddenly laughed. That laugh was full of a heroic feeling. Pill. Guo Ran and the others led the Starry River warriors against the Devil Beast army. They were the vanguard, a sharp blade piercing through their enemies. Hence, they were covered in blood. Their battle armors were soaked in so much blood that their original appearance could no longer be seen. They were already numb to the killing. They only had one thought, and that was to kill as many as they could. As long as they didn't die, they would be killing killing until there was no enemy left to kill. However, a battle of this intensity placed an extremely heavy burden on them. Most of these Starry River warriors had never even participated in a battle, let alone such a terrifying one. The mental and physical pressure was immense. Because of that, they had not even been fighting for an hour before they started to feel tired. But they bitterly endured. The original formation that they had drilled was not able to provide many benefits. As some Starry River warriors died in combat, their lineup was no longer complete. There was no way around it. They hadn't had much time for training. It had to be known that the Dragon Blood Legion was only able to fight so solidly together due to undergoing countless battles together. That was what tempered their ability to support each other without the need to say anything, to have a group of 360,000 warriors suddenly go to war in just 10 days of training was insane. It was already amazing that they were able to fight as well as they were right now. As for Guo Ran, although he was the general, there were too many enemies. 
he had to be constantly targeting the strongest enemies that appeared to avoid large casualties appearing among the starry river warriors. He didn't have much time to direct the troops. Thus, as the pressure increased on the starry river legion and the formation grew chaotic, Kyua Ren couldn't do anything about it. The number of casualties was constantly increasing. As of now, over 40,000 Starry River Warriors had fallen. The only gratifying thing was that the Starry River Warriors were truly brave. Not a single person retreated. Even though they were tired, they still fought to the death. The Starry River Warriors also knew that they were the main force of this battlefield, and they could not retreat. Behind them was the city where their fathers, mothers, and families resided. If they retreated, it would mean that all the people dear to them would die to the devil race. Hence, their only choice was to fight to the death. Suddenly, rays of divine light rained down just as their casualties were steadily increasing. Rays of sword Kai slaughtered the old devil experts in front of Guo Ran and the others. Dean Yu. Kyua Ran and the others were startled. Shockingly, Zhu Yifen, the celestial essence sect's patriarch, and the other elders had charged their way over. Chapter 3629 Children, You Should Temporarily Retreat. These old bones of ours can still move. We'll help you by some time to recover, said Zhu Yifen. But didn't boss say? Search Navaloon, come for the original. Hugh Oran and the others were hesitant. These elders were the core of the human race's hearts, a mental pillar for them. If something happened to them, the human race's morale would be badly affected. Moreover, their power was related to their blood kai. Zhu Yifen and the others might have higher realms, but their blood kiss had already regressed. Perhaps occasionally fighting wouldn't cause a problem for them, but such a high-intensity battle would overdraft their remaining essence blood, shortening their lifespans. Now, considering that they almost reached the end of their lifespans, going on the battlefield was no different than sending themselves to their deaths. The commander is outside the battlefield and unable to give new orders as the situation changes. Quickly fall back and prepare yourselves. The enemy is powerful and we have to be prepared for a long-term battle. Zhu Yifen patted Gua Ran's shoulder, not at all caring about the blood covering his armor. But, no buts. This battle is not just yours. It is also ours. Do you think that us old fellows are useless? demanded the Celestial Essence Sect's patriarch angrily. When we dominated this world, your grandfather hadn't even been born yet. Stop wasting time and retreat. It's our turn to exercise our bodies, barked another half-step divine venerate. Good child, don't hesitate. I didn't misjudge you. You are just like your boss inside. You are both figures that will hold up the heavens for the world. You are all heroes, but we're also not cowards who will just sit and watch. We can't buy you much time. Even if you refuse to consider it for yourself, consider it for the warriors beneath you, said Zhu Yifen to Guo Ran. Upon hearing Zhu Yifen say this, and looking at his smile, Guo Ran's eye suddenly reddened. Fall back. The real battle is coming up. After saying that, Zhu Yifen's golden battle armor lit up like the rising sun. A powerful aura erupted. Pill. The Celestial Essence Sect's patriarch had long since gotten impatient. With a roar, his battle armor emitted a resplendent divine light, and the pressure of a half-step divine venerate erupted. He charged into the devil army. The terrifying power of half-step divine venerates was finally revealed at this time. The old devil race's experts collapsed in front of them. When half-step divine venerates unleashed their full power, they were practically unrivaled battle gods. Ha ha ha, today I'll kill until I'm satisfied. All devil race, I'll have you repay the blood debt you owe my fallen brothers. 
the enmity of so many years will be settled to-day roared the celestial essence sect's patriarch like an angry lion it was as if he had returned to his youth fighting on the battlefield his voice contained pain hatred remembrance and sorrow all the people that had fought alongside him back in the day were gone it was now just him all alone brothers i will avenge you the celestial essence sect's patriarch raised his weapon and slaughtered the old devil race with his full power nine great half-step divine venerates were attacking with their full power annihilating the old devil race with every blow they crushed the enemies and their huge area attacks instantly stabilized the front lines with them in charge the starry river warriors were free to rest and take a breather however seeing their mighty elders display their strength slaughtering the devil race so easily not one person cheered all of them had mournful expressions gyo ran was crying zu yifin and the others were igniting what remained of their lifespans in exchange for a burst of blood kai they were unleashing their maximum potential however they were already old and were burning up their lives to buy some time for everyone after this battle they definitely wouldn't lie for long zai liuer lang hui tu hu zai kain kian and the other starry river warriors also wept don't cry hurry up and recover your energy repair your battle armors get ready to join the fray again shouted kyo ran even as he cried himself at this moment battleships descended to provide the materials that they needed to perform maintenance on their battle armors the damaged portions were quickly switched out some of the starry river warriors were practically naked their battle armors had almost been destroyed so they had relied on just their physical bodies to fight their enemies from this it could be seen just how intense this battle was the nine elders the grand formation and the battleships bought precious time for the starry river warriors to take a breather they repaired their battle armors and consumed medicinal pills to recover after that they looked at the other battlefield long chen and all devil chan i could no longer be seen these experts could only see black kai and violet kai clashing occasionally there would be a thunderous explosion and wild currents flowed within that battlefield they couldn't even approach that space so they had no idea what was going on however seeing those two forces crazily clashing and their auras continuously rising it seemed that they possessed endless energy no one could tell who held the advantage the battlefield around the two of them was a zone of absolute death no one could interfere from the all devil race no one went to support all devil tanai and from the human race no one went to support long chen their battle was truly a battle of kings whoever won there would decide victory or defeat in an instant however the human race was still at an absolute disadvantage there was an endless army of devil beasts and experts from the old devil race they were still pouring in but the human race only had so many warriors without reinforcements there was nowhere for them to go past here they could only rely on themselves you ran perhaps we should slip over to boss long chen's battlefield if we work together with boss long chen as long as we can kill all devil tianai everything will be over whispered leng hui this proposal enticed zai liuer tu hu zai kainkian and the other peak heavenly geniuses from the various sects that was the fastest shortcut to ending this battle if long chen lost then everything would end it might be better to slip over now while they had the chance and by joining forces they could eliminate all devil tianai you are underestimating old devil tianai too much an expert on that level is not afraid of fighting a group battle if we go we will only be eliminated one by one rather than helping we'll distract boss guo ran shook his head but i'm worried zai liuer looked at that terrifying space nervously don't worry i don't dare to guarantee anything else but within the same realm 
no one within the nine heavens and ten lands is a match for boss boss's victory is only a matter of time just then the space at the rear of the devil beast army fluctuated terrifying ripples shook everyone's heart not good they are creating a channel yuo ran's expression instantly changed chapter three thousand six hundred thirty at the rear of the old devil race a blood-colored spear of light appeared sucking in the blood on the ground at this moment intense spatial fluctuations began to come from it when everyone saw that spatial channel their expressions changed no one knew where that channel led to but they all knew that it definitely wasn't something good they were already struggling to deal with the devil beasts and all devil experts before them if they still had to deal with the reinforcements from the old devil race the human race would be doomed kill our way over we cannot allow them to succeed shouted Gua ran at this time they had rested for an hour and had recovered about eighty per cent of their energy their battle armors were also repaired just as guo ran shouted the celestial essence sect's patriarch zu yifen and the others abandoned the defensive line like a sharp blade they pierced toward that blood-colored sphere originally the nine of them had been fully blocking the old devil race's attacks but now they became a furious arrow blasting through their midst reaching that spear in just a few breaths time you ran and the others cheer this was the power of their seniors although the youngsters had plenty of blood kai the runes on their battle armors relied on their comprehension of the heavenly dows to activate without a high enough mental realm there were many runes that they couldn't activate after all their battle armors were supported by their physical bodies and mental realms their armor was the bridge connecting the power of the heavenly dows and their own power when nine half-step divine venerates joined forces they were unstoppable they pierced right through the battlefield invigorating the human race's side you want to create a transportation formation here keep dreaming the celestial essence sect's patriarch shouted he was the first to reach this formation at this moment his divine weapon slash into the sphere oh the spatial gate crumbled seeing that heaven-shaking cheers rang out however those cheers quickly turned into shocked cries the spatial gates runes were blasted apart and then gathered once more what the celestial essence sect's patriarch was shocked and attacked once more but this attack was even weaker than the last the spatial gate merely quivered and didn't crumble how can this be everyone was stunned attack it together shouted the celestial essence sect's patriarch Ooh. the nine of them attacked with all their power nine rays of divine light converged forming a blade of death that struck the spatial gate the spatial gate crumbled once more this time it wasn't just the spatial gate that crumbled even the earth was torn apart and the void collapsed this attack had broken the laws of space ah ha children do you see we old-timers still have a use laughed the celestial essence sect's patriarch however when they heard that laughter everyone's heart quivered his voice might still be loud but it was lacking power his voice was already a bit hoarse patriarch the celestial essence sect's disciples were all aggrieved after fighting all out for an hour the nine of them had managed to stall the devil army but they had also exhausted a great deal of their longevity after launching an all-out attack to destroy the spatial gate their patriarch was like a lamb that had run out of oil if the celestial essence sect's patriarch had reached that point then the others were definitely no better looking at their figures people called out seniors come back leave the rest to us they didn't want these seniors who were past their prime to continue throwing their lives away the youngsters would use their power to protect them just at that moment a shocking and horrifying sight appeared 
that crumbled spatial gate converged once more how can this be seeing that people felt despair it was actually impossible to destroy the spatial gate i understand this is the devil blood gate it is condensed by the blood and soul energy of the old devil race and the devil beasts no matter how many times we destroy it it will reform unless we can exhaust all the blood soul energy inside it will reform but clearly that is impossible zu yif inside everyone looked at the battlefield the world was already soaked in blood and the heavy resentment in the air was the lingering soul energy of the dead there was an endless supply of blood soul energy for this spatial gate to repeatedly reform it would be the same no matter how many times they broke it perhaps only boss can destroy this spatial gate that Hugo ran panicked this spatial gate wasn't something that they had the power to destroy he knew that long chen could but long chen was fighting with all devil tianai in the distance he couldn't help them all the way over here what to do what can we do xi liuer and the others were all anxious but they couldn't think of any solutions ah oh. suddenly the celestial essence sect's patriarch raised his head and laughed children don't worry victory will definitely be ours leave this spatial gate to us when the patriarch said this for some reason everyone had a bad premonition zu yifen and the others exchanged a look and they all suddenly laughed it was a laugh of delight and familiarity we fought against each other for a lifetime scheming here and there now that the end comes it really is a huge joke laugh the half-step divine venerate you're right it really is a huge joke i normally felt myself to be a wise martial god only making my move when victory was already in my hold now it seems so foolish and laughable agreed another half-step divine veneret i'm the most foolish of all of us i always felt pride in my decisions now i find that i've made many wrong decisions in this lifetime but at least i made two correct decisions one was to follow senior zayag yuhong back in the day and the other was to fight alongside dean long chen he he i bore witness to two peerless heroes in this lifetime that's enough the celestial essence sect's patriarch looked at the distant battlefield of long chen and all devil tianai he had a very pleased laugh it seems that it's dean yifen who is the wisest with the greatest vision regretfully we don't have a chance to learn from you sighed another half-step divine venerate it is a shame that we won't get to see the children grow up and unify the old devil star field we won't get to see the glory of their forging arts said another elder he looked at the human races warriors in the distance a sad light fills his eyes it doesn't matter if we can see it or not what's important is that they will all grow up and unify the old devil star field as for us we have to do what only we can do laughed zu yifen right you are absolutely right let's start said the other elder wait we can go but we can't bring some things zu yifen took out a case he placed his battle armor, divine weapon, and other things inside before flinging it toward Guo Ran in the distance. The other elders followed suit, passing down their own things. The nine of them laughed, taking each other's hands. They walked toward the spatial gate. Gin, patriarch, don't. At this moment, everyone knew what was happening. They all cried out in horror and countless people wept crying for them to return children this world belongs to you this is the final thing that we can do for you the nine of them walked into the spatial gate suddenly their blood soul energy erupted and the nine of them self detonated at the same time no everyone from the human race screamed in anguish 
Chapter 3631 Nine Half Step Divine venerates self detonated at the same time. As a result, blood soul energy erupted and the spatial gate crumbled. The runes that made up the spatial gate were demolished. When the spatial gate vanished, it never reappeared again. At the same time, the nine half step divine venerates that vanished with it were also gone forever. Dean, no. Gyo Ran wept. Zhu Yifen had blessed him with his favor and had shown him his care, but he had known about it too late. Other than Long Chen, it was Zhu Yifen who cared the most about Gyo Ran. He had been constantly secretly looking after and helping him. However, Zhu Yifen was now gone. In order to destroy the spatial gate, such a virtuous and important person was left without even a corpse to bury. Ah! Uh, Gyo Ran suddenly let out a beast-like roar. Brothers, avenge our seniors. Slaughter these brutes. Kill. The human race's warriors echoed his roar. Flames almost burst out of their eyes, and they clenched their teeth so hard that their gums almost bled. The only thing that could cool them down was to kill. At this time, their lives were the least important thing to them. What they wanted was revenge. If they couldn't cut off their enemies' heads, they would probably die of their own rage. The deaths of the nine seniors fully ignited the fighting spirits of the human race. They became madmen, throwing themselves at the all-devil race's experts and the devil beasts. Who? At this moment, a huge explosion suddenly shook the battlefield. When a giant tear appeared in the void, Long Chen and Old Devil, Tianai appeared once more, flying out of that chaotic space. You want to save those old fojis? Keep dreaming. Old Devil Tianai pointed his staff at Long Chen. Long Chen's expression was dark at this moment. The killing intent in his eyes had almost condensed into physical form. He had to fight at full power against all devil Tianai. The latter was too powerful, stronger than any opponent that Long Chen had previously encountered. But Long Chen still kept an eye on the entire battlefield. When the spatial gate appeared, he immediately had a bad feeling and wanted to go out to destroy it first above anything else. However, Old Devil Tianai read his intentions. Using some divine ability, he threw space into chaos, stalling Long Chen. When Long Chen finally pierced through his divine ability, it was too late. He couldn't save Zhu Yifen, the celestial essence sect's patriarch, or the others. Oz, seen Long Chen come out, Gyo Ran cried out and couldn't stop his tears. He felt himself to be completely powerless. He couldn't do anything. Long Chen was enraged. Glaring at old devil Tianai, he shouted, I misspoke before. I said that your old devil race would have to offer tributes to the human race every year as you survive off of our mercy. But I, Long Chen, hereby swear to all gods and devils to erase the old devil race from the nine heavens and ten lands. Erase the old devil race from the nine heavens and ten lands. Erase the old devil race from the nine heavens and ten lands. Erase the old devil race from the nine heavens and ten lands. Long Chen's final words resounded throughout the nine heavens, to the point that the ten thousand Daos resonated with them. It was like an imperial edict spreading throughout the nine heavens and the yellow springs. This oath caused the world to change color, to cause time, both past and present, to quiver. This was a terrifying oath. All the old devil race's experts felt their hearts pounding as an indescribable fear swept through them. Long Chen was enraged. He had killed countless life forms in this lifetime. But no matter how heinous his enemies had been, no matter how they had enraged him, he had never done something like eradicating an entire race. He had always believed that every race had both good and bad people. A person had to know respect. He greatly disliked those people who always said that they would wipe out a person's entire race and family. However, it was precisely because Long Chen had always left other people a chance to redeem themselves 
that he ended up pushing himself to the verge of destruction. If he hadn't received Aunt Gong's pointers in the heavenly flame world, he would not be able to keep his heart clear. He had given some of the bad people a chance to change their fates. But this ended up causing countless good people to be thrown into danger. Aunt Gong had told him that he could act according to his own heart, and then bestowed him the golden lily seed, allowing him to place down the burdens in his heart. He didn't need to keep questioning himself or hyperfocus on the process. He just had to look at the result. That was why Long Chen had directly given the order to kill the people questioning him. He knew that some people were simply manipulated into doing it. Their innate characters weren't necessarily bad. If it was before, he would have given them a chance. But this time, he directly hardened his heart. When did this world ever have so many innocent people? Even if they were innocent, their actions caused others harm. It was precisely due to innocent people like this that Xia Yuhong was forced away. Xia Yuhong had been unwilling to subdue these innocent people, and that resulted in countless years of battle in the deaths of countless innocent people. The current Long Chen could see further than before, and his heart was harder. Even so, Zhu Yifen was an elder whom he greatly respected. For him to be unable to save Zhu Yifen, the flames of fury in his heart erupted. Because of it, he directly made such a merciless oath. Big words. I think I'll let the old devil race exterminate your human race instead. Long Chen's oath caused even all double Chanai's heart to pound. He furiously roared, Do you think that this is my full power? You little human, you can never imagine just how powerful the great all devil race is. Supreme Bone. Suddenly, all devil Chanai's right arm began to shine. After that, the flesh on top of his arm vanished, and a black bone appeared. It was covered in tiny, dense rooms. Every single rune was as small as an ant, yet they covered his entire arm. When this black bone appeared, the entire world grew heavy, and a terrifying pressure came from that black bone. Ripples then spread from all devil Chianai's body. At this moment, Guo ran and the others felt an irresistible power flow out toward them. It was like they were on a raging sea and couldn't stop themselves from being forced back. The devil beasts were also pushed back by that terrifying power. There was no way for anyone else to approach where Long Chen and All Devil Chanai were. They stared in horror at All Devil Chanai's arm. That black bone was like the arm of a fiend clutching their throats. They couldn't breathe. For some unknown reason, when they looked at the current All Devil Chanai, they couldn't help feeling like they couldn't win. It didn't matter how staunch they were. They felt despair. Supreme Bone? Long Chen's heart pounded wildly. His gaze instantly sharpened. The immortal world also had experts with Supreme Bones. Chapter 3632 Old Devil Tianai's arm emitted a blinding light and was covered in dense runes that unleashed endless power. It was as if its power could truly destroy the entire world if it was unleashed. Do you see? This is the Supreme Bone. It possesses the power to control an entire world's power. It isn't something acts like you can comprehend. All Devil Chana looked at his black arm with a proud smile. Boom! Just like that, he smashed the air with his black arm. As a result, the void could not contain his power and collapsed. The wall of the world was broken, creating a black hole that sucked countless corpses, rubble, and broken fragments into it. It was a horrifying sight. Is this power something that ants like you can compete with? All Devil Tianai sneered at Long Chen like an undefeatable devil king. Just what kind of power is this? Just as people's killing intent was raging to avenge their seniors and their fighting spirits soared, this one move from all devil Tianai was like a bucket of ice over their heads. Their desire for revenge was mostly extinguished. This was the result of a level of power that simply caused despair, 
a power that could not be matched or imagined. Whether it was the human race or the devil-beast army, they all stopped fighting and simply stared at the two of them. So the immortal world also has a kind of supreme bone. In the mortal world, it slumbers, accumulating power. It only sprouts under the immortal world's laws, unleashing its real power. Long Chen eyed all devil Chan Ai's black bone arm. He finally understood that he had underestimated the supreme bone. He thought that it was just some bone of talent from the mortal world without much use. Now that he saw all devil Chan Ai's black bone arm, he instantly understood that the supreme bone would only display its true power in the immortal world. Supreme. It was an expression of peak talent. Even though Long Chen had gone through the High Firmament Academy's books, he had not read anything about supreme bones. In other words, a supreme bone was related to the mysterious workings of the heavenly Taoists. It could not be recorded on paper. Long Chen instantly thought of his own supreme bone that had been taken from him. Back then, he hadn't killed Long Ayashin in hopes of using the latter as bait to find his parents. But Long Ayashin was taken away by people not long after ascending. Furthermore, it was said that his entire family had moved. Thinking about it, it was likely due to his supreme bone. The Long family definitely didn't dare to tarry when it came to a genius with a supreme bone. Good thing I didn't kill him back then. Otherwise, the talent that my parents bestowed on me would have been lost. It seems that I'll need to think of a way to take back what is mine, muttered Long Chen. Long Chen's hatred for Long Aoshin was at the very peak. Back then, Long Chen had almost torn him into pieces. But in order to search for his parents, Long Chen had left him alive. Now it seemed that this decision was extremely correct. His spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone were still being nourished in Long Aoshin's body. Whatever power that had picked him up would nourish his talent, and the next time Long Chen saw Long Aoshin, he would pluck the talent that they nourished. Are you so scared that you're talking to yourself? Ha ha ha, humans are simply an inferior race. In front of absolute power, you can only kneel on the ground and beg for mercy. Well, go ahead and beg. I want to see just how wretched the human race is. Seeing Long Chen muttering to himself as he eyed his black arm, Old Devil Chen I laughed. It seemed as if he had absolute control now, and he coldly overlooked the entire battlefield. He was in no rush. It seemed that he was enjoying people's expressions of despair. Na balloon, calm people truly were terrified and felt despair. They didn't know what a supreme bone was, but as experts, they could clearly sense that all devil Tanai possessed a violent power as vast as a sea. This kind of power could destroy the entire world, and they were no different than ants in front of all devil Tanai. In front of this absolute power, any schemes and plans were nonsense. There was nothing that smarts could do. The only thing that they could do was wait for death. Everyone, start secretly recovering your energy. Prepare for the final battle. Guo Ran transmitted orders to everyone. Is there a need for this? Leng Huey bitterly smiled. In his opinion, everything was already over. What bullshit are you spouting? My boss is unrivaled. I told you to recover, so focus on recovering. We still need to avenge the dean and the others, right? Kiwo Ran glared at him. Hence, everyone started secretly recovering their energy. They could only place all their hopes on Long Chen now. Standing in the air, Long Chen looked at all devil Tianai. In front of his provocation, Long Chen calmly said, You fought me for so long because you were storing up energy to activate the supreme bone. Correct. The supreme bone can normally only be summoned at the Devil King realm. My realm isn't high enough. Hence, if I want to activate it, I must push myself to the very limit before I can awaken it. The supreme bone's power is something that you cannot imagine. Even I, 
if I were to directly summon its power, would be directly blasted apart simply due to how powerful it is. Now do you understand the difference between us? Asked all devil Chanai. These words pushed people further into despair. Even someone as powerful as all devil Chanai would need to raise the power of his physical body to the very peak before he could control this power. Then just how terrifying would it be once its power was unleashed? Long Chen rested the Minglong saber on his shoulder. That one action caused Gua Ran's blood to blaze excitedly. Watch closely. Boss is about to go all out. You mean that? Boss Long Chen still isn't fighting all out. Zai Liyur, Lang Hui, and the others were astonished. Isn't that nonsense? If all Devil Chan I wasn't going all out, how could Boss have used up all his power? Just remember this. In this world, there is no one that can defeat Boss within the same realm, declared Guo Ran proudly. He had even more confidence in Long Chen than Long Chen himself. Long Chen took a few steps forward. It was like he was leisurely walking through his own courtyard. No one knew what he was thinking. As he walked, he said, that means that your way of thinking is the same as mine. I also have a kind of power that I can't fully control. I only dare to use it once the warm-up is over. Otherwise, even before I kill my enemies, my own body will be unable to endure it. In truth, I really hate myself for not being able to finish my warm-up sooner. Otherwise, you would already be one of the souls killed by my saber, and those seniors wouldn't have had to die. Well, saying that is meaningless. Right now, all I can do is use your life as an offering to their spirits. Prepare yourself. On coming, Long Chen's speed suddenly accelerated. He was like a bolt of lightning shooting at Old Devil Tianai. At this moment, his Mingong saber rumbled and 999 stars lit up on its blade as brightly as the sun's. Chapter 3633 Old Devil Heaven Subduing Strike Long Chen was as quick as lightning, his Mingong saber slashing down with the power of the stars. And today I'll show you a power that you couldn't comprehend even if you cultivated for a hundred thousand years. Old Devil Chan I sneered and raised his staff. It actually merged with the runes on his arm and smashed toward Long Chen. Boom! A huge explosion turned the world dark, making people lose their vision. They then felt space twisting around them as if they would be twisted apart. After that, many of them hacked up blood. Everyone was horrified. Even from such a distance, while wearing their battle armor, they were unable to fend off that strange force Navalun come when their vision was restored. They saw Long Chen slashing at all Devil Tiana once more. That scene was the exact same as before, as if the previous scene was repeating. Seeing this, people were flabbergasted. They couldn't tell if this was simply a misperception on their end or something else. Could it be that such a terrifying attack did not require any recovery period in between? Boop! An even more intense explosion shook the land, and it was even louder than before. They couldn't see any chi wave or a single ripple, but they felt like their physical bodies and souls were struck by a meteor. It felt like they would be torn apart. Everyone retreat into the city. Huo Ran suddenly shouted. Countless people were injured, so without hesitation, they immediately retreated. Once they were all inside the city, through the formation, they watched the distant battlefield. Right now, the battlefield was already littered with corpses. Countless devil beasts had been killed by the shockwaves, so even the old devil race's experts were retreating in terror. Suddenly, a saber pierced through the dome of the heavens like a celestial blade. It pierced through this world that was covered in devil kai, and people could see through the hole left in the sky by that saber. From the hole, they could see endless stars. This saber pierced directly into the starry sky. Raise the power of the formation's defenses to the peak, roared Guo Ran. 
the entire city quivered over a thousand barriers appeared in the blink of an eye over the city bastard you were tricking me old devil chan i roared furiously after exchanging two blows with long chen he realized that while long chen seemed to be attacking with these two blows he was actually defending the first blow's power was absorbed by his second blow and his second blow's power was absorbed by his third blow this third blow was his true killing move the first two were nothing more than preparation for the third blow when he realized it long chen's third blow had fully locked him down most terrifying of all there were some stars in the starry sky above the heavens that were brighter than the others they illuminated the giant saber image that already had nine hundred and ninety-nine stars shining on it it was as if those stars were resonating causing it to unleash endless power idiot it was clearly you who felt yourself to be a badass and refused to use your full power the moment you wanted to play a game of cat and mouse with me you already lost any chance to win all that awaits you is death i will use your head as an offering to those warriors that sacrificed themselves long chen's killing intent was icy suddenly a pair of wings appeared on his back one was made of flames and the other was made of lightning the lightning and flames weaved together giving off a strong contrast they made long chen appear like an unbeatable battle god before the saber even slashed down the terrifying power already caused the ten thousand daos to wail even heaven and earth felt terror from this power the stars above the nine heavens shone brightly giving the saber endless power long chen was the undefeatable battle god of the starry sky in control of the power of the stars one saber and one man both overflowing with killing intent with the starry sky above him there was no way to describe just how he looked at this moment the people in the city had this image deeply imprinted in their minds they would never forget this scene for the rest of their lives Guo ran shouted in excitement this image was precisely his impression of long chen this was an image that no one else could match the starry river warriors looked at the starry sky up above right now the Tao seemed to flow into them and their hearts grew clear many aspects of the starry river of the sky art that they hadn't understood before were now clear to them they looked at long chen with absolute reverence and worship long chen had taught them the starry river of the sky art without expecting anything in return that magnanimity was just as vast as the generosity of the stars in the sky it was a realm that they could never hope to reach in their lifetimes long chen had opened a path for them letting them see a vast world in their hearts long chen was a true god suddenly the space around old devil chan i began to crack it seemed that he was under such terrifying pressure that the world could not contain it his body began to quiver it's just an aura lock but old devil chan i can't endure it he's definitely dead zai liu cried out excitedly at this moment old devil chan i's body was quivering and his staff and supreme bone were shining his expression was one of shock and rage inferior human all you know is how to scheme do you think that's enough to defeat a mighty supreme expert keep dreaming all devil blood sacrifice all devil tian i roared suddenly his left hand formed a strange seal seeing that seal the city's people cried out in shock since when did the old devil race know how to form hand seals in all their years of fighting the old devil race no one had even heard of them using hand seals as he formed hand seals the old devil expert in the distance began to explode it had to be known that even after all the fighting there were still millions of them as the old devil experts exploded the devil beasts simply lay there their bodies withering their blood kai was sucked away by a mysterious energy this sight gave others chills this technique was terrifying 
he was sacrificing his own people. As the Old Devil experts and Devil Beasts died, bloodlight surged into Old Devil Tanai's arm, which emitted a blood-colored light. His power then erupted like a volcano, crazily climbing. After absorbing endless blood Kai energy, Old Devil Tanai's body began to grow. He grew until he was a giant dozens of miles tall. After that, his staff rumbled, growing with him and emitting blood-colored flames. Die, you inferior human! All devil heaven subduing strike! All devil Chanai roared. His staff shattered space as it smashed toward Long Chen. Die, you filthy devil! Split the heavens three! Long Chen also shouted. All of his power poured into this one attack. This attack would decide victory or defeat. Chapter 3634 Heaven Shattering Attack Heaven and Earth Collapsed and the Ten Thousand Daos Crumbled. The staff swung through the air with Black Kai surging around it. As for the Minghong Saber, it was covered in specks of starlight. Both divine weapons contained the full power of both wielders. Moreover, the two of them didn't hold back in the slightest. This was not just a clash of power, but also a clash of wills. At this moment, neither of them could hesitate or feel afraid. Otherwise, the slightest opening in their mental states would cause their wills to instantly collapse, leading to defeat. One was a supreme heavenly genius of the devil race, and the other was a peak expert of the human race. Both of them possess undefeatable wills. But in this exchange, only one could live. Time seemed to move slowly. The people in the magnificent heaven city clenched their teeth and their fists, watching as the staff and saber slowly smash into each other. This was not just the attack that would decide life and death for Long Chen and all devil Tianai. It would also decide whether the human race could survive in the old devil star field. Hence, everyone's heart rose into their throat. Boom. The Minghong saber slashed at the staff with the will of split the heavens. Both of their powers erupted. The moment the two weapons touched, a sphere of light erupted between them. It started off only the size of a fist, but then instantly grew to encompass all of heaven and earth. It was like a sun exploding. Suddenly, the world turned silent as if it had lost all sound. Time seemed to come to a sudden stop, and people felt like they were floating within the void. Following that, intense quakes made them feel like the world had been flipped. They then saw a rain of light. The light was chaotic, creating random currents within the void. It was as if the world was rolling, that the ten thousand Daos were being overturned. At this moment, the magnificent heaven city rumbled and its barriers were constantly exploding. Cracks appeared throughout the city. Fortunately, with the defenses pushed to the very max thanks to Guo Ran's order, they weren't instantly wiped out. Not good. The dragon veins have been destroyed. A panicked cry rang out. The formation's defenses were built on top of the dragon veins. With the dragon veins destroyed, the formation also lost its power. Defensive battleships get into formation. Protect the commoners. Yuo Ran quickly reacted. Boom. Suddenly, the magnificent heaven city that had lost the support of the dragon veins exploded. Fortunately, just as it exploded, the battleships unleashed protective light, just barely covering up the commoners in time. Astral winds raged. The blinding light slowly faded, and by the time people's vision was restored, they could no longer recognize the world. This place was now a wasteland. At the center of the battlefield was an enormous spatial crack. It simply sat there, neither devouring nor spitting anything. It was like a simple cut left in heaven and earth. The laws of the heavenly Daos could not heal that scar. Don't stop the protective formation. The runes of the battleships began to waver, causing Yuo Ran to suddenly shout, Maintain the formation! Otherwise, the remnant-killing intent will instantly wipe out the majority of the people in the city. 
Ewell Rand's words caused countless hearts to shake, especially the people who had thought that the battle was over and were thinking of saving some resources by bringing down the defensive state of the barrier. They were so terrified by Gua Rand's words that they didn't even dare to move. The vision formation was quickly activated. After that, they found a figure within that spatial crack. It's Boss Long Chen. We won, we won, we won. When they saw that figure, people wept out of joy. Long Chen hadn't disappointed them. I already told you that Boss is unrivaled within the same realm, said Guo Ran proudly. In truth, Guo Ran had also been scared just now. Old Devil Tianai was absolutely terrifying, and that supreme bone was a heaven-defying existence. It was his first time feeling like Long Chen could lose to someone in the same realm. However, Long Chen hadn't disappointed him. The All Devil Starfield's commoners were crazily chanting Long Chen's name. Their gratitude toward him had reached a level that could not be expressed with words. Read the most updated version of this novel and other amazing translated novels from the original source at Novelum. Calm lives were precious but many people didn't understand just how precious they were until they faced death. Only then did they understand just how beautiful living was. At the same time, they understood just how much courage it took to risk your life and bleed to drive away evil. Right now, Long Chen was covered in blood, and his robes were in tatters. His blood slowly dripped down, but he still stood tall and straight, like a mountain within a sea, an immovable existence. However, he was definitely in a terrible state. His lightning wing and flame wing were gone because Lei Linger and Huo Linger had entered a deep slumber. This attack had exhausted all of their energy. Long Chen had not used their power all of this time just to prepare for this attack. Everything went as planned. The more abundant his violet Kai the more astral energy he could draw in, and the greater the power he could control. But at the same time, the backlash grew. Thus, in order to be sure of victory, he had Huo Linger and Lei Linger share the backlash with him. That was a fortunate decision, as otherwise the backlash would have severely wounded him. Suddenly, the earth quivered and bulged. As a result, the cheers were cut off and people stared in horror. Old Devil Chan, I didn't die. However, Long Chen's expression was calm. He walked forward a few steps and suddenly stabbed the Ming Hong saber into the ground. A giant figure was lifted out of the ground. It was Old Devil Chan, I's body. After being stabbed, his body began to shrink. In the end, he became the size of a normal person. Old Devil Kai and I no longer appeared indomitable. His body was a pulp of flesh and blood, and his bones were shattered. Right now, his body was like mud, and his aura was beyond weak. He was already on the verge of death. This blow from Long Chen didn't just destroy his physical body, but it also destroyed his spirit, his will. Even if Long Chen let him off now, he wouldn't be able to live after this. This was a battle of experts. It didn't leave any room for retreat. He could accept death, but he couldn't accept defeat. Inferior, human race. Just wait, my old devil race doesn't just have one supreme. Just wait, wait for death. Old devil Tiane's gaze was no longer focused, and yet he still forced out a sinister smile. His words were like the devil's curse, giving people chills. But Long Chen calmly said, It doesn't matter how many supreme geniuses you have. I'll kill as many as there are. Regretfully, you won't see that day. Sorry, but can you die faster? I have to keep my word. Your head will be an offering to the fallen warriors, and they are waiting for me. I don't want them to wait too long. Long Chen then swung the Minghong saber across all devil Tianai's neck. His head instantly separated from his body. Chapter 3635 Sealing the Devil Gate All Devil Tiane's head was cut off, and the fire of his soul 
was fully extinguished. A generation's supreme genius died just like that. All of a sudden, the sky darkened and rain fell from the heavens. It was like even the heavens felt sorrow for the fall of such a genius. Boom! Long Chan snorted and stabbed the Mingong saber into the heavens, blowing apart the black clouds. Are you his dad? You're going to feel sorrow for him. My human race lost millions of good men on the battlefield, but I didn't see you feeling any sorrow for them. As the spirit of the world, you can't differentiate between good and bad. If you anger me, don't blame me for erasing you from within the nine heavens and ten lands. Long Chen roared at the heavens. The black clouds receded and the rain vanished. It was just like they were afraid of Long Chen. The world once more became clear and bright. The sun was shining brightly as if nothing had happened. However, the void here was still wrecked and had yet to repair itself. That showed what had happened here. Yuo Ran, Zai Liur, Leng Hui, and the others came to Long Chen's side. Although all Devil Tianai was dead, even now, two clashing wills from their final attack could still be sensed hanging in the air. Thus, just by standing here, their souls felt sharp pains. The mental pressure was alarming. Only now did they comprehend just how terrifying that final exchange was. Boss, I want that arm. Yuo Ran eyed all devil Tianai's corpse. All devil Tianai's bones were all shattered, and only that one arm was fully intact. In fact, it wasn't even the slightest bit damaged. While his divine staff was shattered, his arm was fine. This was a supreme bone. Take it. This supreme bone can be nourished within the body. However, how to nourish it is something that we'll need to study in the future. Long Chen nodded. If it was Gu Yang, Lai Kai, Song Minjuan, or the others who wanted this supreme bone, he would not agree. He would worry about them depending on this bone and losing sight of their own cultivation. However, when it came to Guo Ran, he relied entirely on things other than his own efforts at cultivation. This supreme bone was most suitable for him. Yuo Ran was overjoyed and immediately swaggered over. When he picked up the supreme bone, he found that its body was like black jade. It was heavy in his hand. Although its runes had gone dark, it still gave off a suffocating pressure. Yuo Ran carefully took out a jade case and put it away. He was full of anticipation. If he could truly equip this arm, wouldn't he have all double Tianai's terrifying power? Adding on the support of his battle armor, he didn't even dare to imagine it. At that time, who could possibly be a match for him? Lang Hui took all double Tianai's head. He said, Boss Long Chen, let's go. This battle, we, we've lost so many people. We'll use this fellow's head as a sacrifice to those heroes. Zai Liuer, Tu Hu, and the others' eyes also reddened. They thought of their dean that had died in battle. They thought of their brothers that had fought alongside them. Of the 360,000 Starry River warriors, only 150,000 remained. Over half of them had died. As for the losses of the experts from the various sects, there was no way to count them. Let's go. Long Chen took a deep breath. He also felt sorrow. However, he knew that this was the reality of battle. It made people feel profoundly powerless. Even so, the nice surprise was that while the magnificent Heaven City was destroyed, the heavenly dragon domain and the celestial essence domain were perfectly intact. All devil Tianai had directly led the army to the magnificent heaven domain. Perhaps it was because he had simply been too overconfident and never cared about destroying the human race's cities. Not wanting to waste any time, he had come straight to their final stronghold at the greatest speed to finish his trial. The homes that people had abandoned were now regained. Countless people felt hundreds of different feelings. Perhaps this was the fortune within misfortune. Other than the magnificent heaven domain, 
the majority of the human race's homes were intact. It was their greatest consolation. After all, these buildings, this territory, these sects, they were all their homes. The home was where the soul could be at peace. Lao Chen quickly gave orders for everyone to rest for twenty-four hours. They had to fully repair the battleships and battle armors as quickly as possible. After twenty-four hours, the human race's army once more gathered. It went without saying that the human race's unity was now at an unprecedented level. No one questioned Long Chen's orders in the slightest. With their army gathered, Long Chen directly led them into the depths of the old devil star field. They came all the way to the Devil Sea. This was the end of the old devil star field. There was a giant spatial gate above it. Terrifying Devil Kai came from this spatial gate. The gate was constantly quivering as if something terrifying was going to come out at any moment. We came at just the right time. Gua Ren, are the preparations complete? asked Long Chen. He he, we are ready long ago, chortled Gua Ren. Do it. As Long Chen waved his hand, tens of thousands of battleships unleashed cannonballs directly at the spatial gate. The cannonballs exploded, unleashing terrifying spatial energy currents. After a round of cannons, the spatial gate began to shrink. It went from being millions of miles wide to ultimately being only a few dozen meters wide. In the end, hundreds of experts took out talismans and stuck them on top of the gate. The quivering spatial gate was instantly sealed shut. It was like the mouth of a beast that had been bound. It no longer made the slightest sound. When the spatial gate was sealed, all the experts let out heaven-shaking roars. Victory! This was a true victory. The entire Old Devil Star Field was now theirs. Dean Yiffen, Long Chen has accomplished our promise. You can rest in peace. Long Chen looked at the sealed spatial gate and bowed deeply. Following Long Chen's bow, all the other experts were moved and bowed as well. The spatial cannons and the spatial talismans had been prepared by Zhu Yifen. Even though he was already dead, he still paved the way for them. He had calculated that when the All Devil race made their huge invasion, it would put an excessive burden on the spatial gate. It would then be unable to open for another forty-eight hours. This was the best time to seal the gate. Zhu Yifen's calculations were extremely accurate. Based on his plan, Long Chen managed to seal the Devil Gate without the slightest mishap. It was very easy. Long Chen felt great admiration for this dean. He was an elder worthy of respect, wise and far-sighted. Such a person was truly rarely seen. This place shall henceforth be known as the Devil Seal Forbidden Area. There must be people guarding it at all times. Those guarding it as well as anyone who wants to go through must be cultivators of the starry river of the sky art. Anyone else who gets close is to be executed. Long Chen directly turned this place into a forbidden area. They absolutely could not permit anyone to break the seal. Everyone then returned home and built a cenotaph honoring the fallen heroes. The names of all the experts who died in battle were carved onto it. The nine elders' names were carved in the very first row. After that, Old Devil Tianai's head was used as an offering. Other than Long Chen, everyone kowtowed deeply toward the cenotaph. Once that ceremony was complete, Long Chen announced, The threat of the Old Devil race has been removed. It is now time for us to leave. Everyone, take care. When Long Chen cupped his fists at them, countless people's expressions changed. Read this novel and other amazing translated novels from the original source at the Novelum Com. Chapter 3636 Sparks of Heroes Novelum Com Boss Long Chen. You can't leave. That's right. Dean Long Chen, you can't just leave. When Long Chen announced that he was leaving, the crowd exploded in an uproar. Countless people were unwilling to part just like this. You led us to victory. You are the king of the Old Devil Star Field. 
we can only be united when you are here. If you leave, no one else can unite the people. We'll once more fall into chaos. Are you willing to watch as the human race fights and kills each other again? Dean Long Chen, the old devil Starfield is like a pack of dragons with no leader. Our seniors have all died. We need you. It was the elders who saw further than the youngsters and considered more. Even though the human race had won, if Long Chen left, wouldn't the various large powers go down the same old path that they had been on? They might continue fighting for resources against each other both openly and secretly, driving each other to the point of death. Hence, they were all afraid of returning to their old ways. This lesson had been too painful, so painful that they couldn't breathe. Dean Long Chen, I'm begging you. Please stay. We will eternally listen to you as a god. Suddenly, countless experts knelt on the ground toward Long Chen. Long Chen's heart was a bit moved. Seeing all their pleading expressions, his eyes reddened slightly. He was just a man. Those sincere gazes made him feel like all of this had been worth it. They didn't let his efforts down. Boss Long Chen, stay. The old devil Starfield cannot exist without you. Even Lang Huey was pleading for him to stay. Long Chen sighed. I have to leave. Don't make things harder on me. You won't manage to change my decision and will only make me feel guilty. Everyone rise. I have some words for everyone. People knew that Long Chen always kept his word. Since the decision was made, they could not change his mind any more. So they sadly rose, not wanting to make things harder on Long Chen. Seeing everyone rise, Long Chen nodded. I greatly appreciate your trust and support. I'm gratified that you can understand and accept me. In truth, I am no hero or some savior. I just know what I have to do and what I have on my shoulders. I'm nothing more than an ordinary person. Everyone is just an ordinary person. If you say that I am a hero, then, in truth, every single one of you here is a hero. You were all willing to set foot on the battlefield. Even knowing that you would die, you continued bravely. Heroes are nothing more than sparks. What you need to do is pass down this spark generation after generation. My ancestors passed the spark to me, and I am now passing this spark to you. There is no need to fear. The human race's will is inextinguishable, and we never lacked heroes. When tribulation comes, heroes will always appear. Tribulations are what reveal the truth about people, both good and bad. Contemptible people will be fully revealed, and heroes will distinguish themselves. What we need are sharp eyes that can differentiate between good and bad people. Find the original at Navalun. Come, I myself am an extremist who executes the bad people, and will also sometimes execute some so-called good people who are blind to the truth and are brainwashed by others into causing trouble. The process isn't important to me. It is the result that is important. That is why I killed those people inciting rumors and pushing them on. I also knew that there are some pitiful wretches who were manipulated by others into joining them. Even though they were hateful, they didn't necessarily deserve death. But the heavens did not give me time to bother with that. If time and energy were wasted on them, they would have caused the death of the entire human race here. You also saw just how narrow our victory was this time. We had to pay such an immense price. Every delay could have caused the deaths of countless innocent people. Dean Long Chen, it was our foolishness. You were right. We shouldn't have doubted you. People cried out as they wept with shame. Countless people lowered their heads. Quite a few of them had felt that Long Chen's actions were wrong. They had also suspected that Long Chen had ulterior motives and wanted to take control of the All Devil Starfield's resources. Now that Long Chen said that he was leaving, they all felt indescribably ashamed. They had looked at a noble person through the eyes of a petty person. For them, 
to have thought of such a thing about a hero like Long Chen was practically a blasphemy. What made them feel worse was that they thought that the reason Long Chen was leaving was due to their doubt. They had hurt him, and that only made them feel more ashamed. Long Chen waved his hand. I'm not saying this to prove just how wise my decision was. I am trying to tell you that some things might look right, but not actually be right. Some things might look wrong, but not actually be wrong. Whether a decision is right or wrong can only be seen with time. At this moment, it appears as if my decision was correct. But after a few thousand years, or tens of thousands of years, who can guarantee that my decision will still be right? Thus, many times, it is not right and wrong that is important. What is important is knowing respect and gratitude. Do not be consumed by greed. Act according to your original heart. Even if you are wrong, who can say that for sure? Dean Zhu Yifin spent tens of thousands of years making plans. His greatest desire was for the human race to survive this battle and have the spark of heroes be inherited by the next generation. Make future generations want to become heroes, make them trust heroes, make them follow heroes. Make sure that the tragedies of history do not repeat themselves. The old devil star field now has two bright sparks. One is the will transmitted by the seniors who sacrificed themselves. Their will is something that will never age or die. The other spark is the starry river of the sky art. I hope that it becomes a bright lantern guiding your way. With it, people's hearts will hold righteousness. Let it be passed down for thousands and thousands of years. Although I'm leaving, I trust that these sparks will allow the old devil star field to continuously grow stronger and stronger. I saw the figures of countless heroes in this battle. I know that these saplings will quickly grow into towering trees that shield the human race from the storms. Long Chen's gaze swept through the crowd. Their ardent gazes gratified him. Battle was terrifying, but it washed away the sand, leaving behind only the gold. Perhaps after this battle, the old devil star field could enter a long period of peace. Boss Long Chen, we definitely won't disappoint you. Lang Huey, Tu Hu, and the other Starry River warriors cried out with tears on their faces. Long Chen nodded. He then patted everyone's shoulder along with Gu Ran before waving goodbye. When they left on a flying boat, everyone watched as it vanished into the distance. After that, countless experts kowtowed deeply in that direction. Everything that they had was bestowed upon them by Long Chen. This battle taught them the value of life, as well as respect and gratitude. Chapter 3637 King Ying Record Dam After spending over a year here, I feel a bit bad leaving. Within the flying boat, watching as the sea of people faded, Gua ran side. Then go back. In the future, you'll be the king of the old devil star field, said Long Chen. No, I just occasionally get emotional. Who cares about being the king of the old devil star field? Can it compare to being the general of the Dragon Blood Legion? Gua ran immediately grew high spirited. Seeing Long Chen looking down on him, he awkwardly said, Don't you have to read the atmosphere? Otherwise, if I suddenly seem happy after leaving, wouldn't that mean that I, you a ran, and someone who forgets favor and kindness? It's just the two of us here. Who are you acting for? Demanded Long Chen irritably. This fellow clearly wanted to leave this place yet, had to act reluctant. The acting was overkill, making Long Chen feel annoyed. Ah, oh, that's right. They can't see me anyway, he he. Boss, I feel like following you is better. I spent over a year in the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College, but even after risking my life, I was only at the bottom of the four heroes. However, as soon as you arrived, my status soared to the very peak. So I've managed to conclude one truth, said Guo Ran solemnly. What truth? I'd like to hear it, said Long Chen. 
I feel like working hard is definitely important, but it's definitely not as important as the right decisions, declared Gua Rad. Is that your excuse for not working hard? Can you have some face? Long Chen was at first somewhat impressed by Guo Ran's truth. It definitely did seem to have some profundity to it. But Long Chen quickly understood that Guo Ran was simply saying that as long as he chose to follow Long Chen, he wouldn't need to work hard in order to soar to success. He he, but I'm not wrong, am I? Just look at my state in the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College. Working as hard as I could, I only reached this level. But when you came, I got whatever I wanted. If I wanted wind, there would be wind. If I wanted rain, there would be rain. Who cares about the four Heavenly Dragon heroes? That's trash in my eyes now. So my choice is definitely correct. By following boss... Even if I have to be a side character, it's definitely 10,000 times better than being my own main character. Furthermore, it's safe, quick, and painless, declared Guo Ran proudly. It was as if he was currently drunk with satisfaction over his wise decision. Seeing that self-satisfied expression, Long Chen was speechless. Other than having an astonishing forging talent, this fellow lacked any aspiration. He was satisfied with even just such a thing. Look, boss, as soon as you came, my life completely changed. I even have a supreme bone now. I have the kinging record as well. I have a feeling that I, Guo Ran, am about to soar my name ringing throughout the heavens, declared Guo Ran, waving a piece of paper with a pleased expression. In the Luo clan's treasury, they had found a secret case with two sheets of paper. One of them was the list of the human race's traitors. Naturally, all the traitors on that list had already been killed. The other sheet was the notes that Liuo Kinging had personally made about forging. As a Grandmaster Scholar, her notes were viewed as a priceless treasure of the human race. Long Chen and Guo Ran had entrusted the Kinging record to the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College. This priceless treasure was to be shared amongst the human race. After that, specialists would set up an entire department dedicated to researching the King Ying record. Guo Ran also kept a copy for himself. This copy had many of the runes and designs that Liuo King Ying had yet to complete, so this record was extremely valuable when it came to research. Guo Ran was planning on spending a great deal of time properly studying it to increase his own forging arts. Even with Guo Ran's talent, he didn't understand the majority of these notes. He prostrated himself in admiration to Liuo Qingying, this peerless grandmaster scholar. Naturally, no one complained about Guo Ran keeping a copy of the Qingying record. It had to be known that only Long Chen and Guo Ran had known about its discovery and if they hadn't announced it to the public. No one else would have known about it. This was Gua Ran's greatest gain this time, along with the Supreme Bone. However, one thing bothered him. Just how was he supposed to use the Supreme Bone? Boss, with your limitless divine ability, can you connect the Supreme Bone to me? Asked Gua Ran. Long Chen shook his head. If you want to connect to it now... It's impossible. I already told you to keep using your soul to nourish it. You have to do it until it accepts your soul, or you won't be able to use it. But it's been so long, and there hasn't been the slightest reaction. It's only been a few hours. Are you crazy? You want a reaction already. Long Chen glared at Yu Aran. This fool had to be dreaming. That was a supreme bone. Was it something a little puppy like him could control so easily? Still, it's just completely ignoring me. Its aura is also growing increasingly weak. I'm worried that it would rather die than submit. Boss, do you have some way to subdue it with brute power? Asked Gyo Ran, scratching his head. Impossible. If brute power is used to subdue it, its own will would be destroyed and it would become a dead bone. 
there would be no room for improvement again, said Long Chen. This supreme bone could be considered a bit similar to the dragon scale that Long Chen had subdued. It possessed its own will. However, compared to the dragon scale, the supreme bone's will was very indistinct. Based on what old devil Chen I said, its power could only be unleashed in the immortal king realm. In other words, this was a supreme bone that had yet to fully awaken. There was a great deal of room to mold it. Yuo Ren had a high chance of subduing it. Don't worry. If this thing should belong to you, it will be yours. If it shouldn't, then forcing it won't help. Just keep nourishing it calmly. All devil Tianai has already died. It has lost its source. If it wants to live, it will need to rely on you, said Long Chen. What if it would rather die than submit? Asked Guo Ran bitterly. Then just let it die. That proves that it has no destiny with you. Long Chen shrugged a bit helplessly. All right, then. Then it's up to my luck. Aha, my luck has always been excellent. What am I worried about? Guo Ran suddenly slapped his leg excitedly. He was revitalized by that thought. Although his days in the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College had been rather bitter, thinking back, there were several times when he had narrowly escaped death thanks to luck. He had great confidence in this luck. Boss, where do we go now? asked Guo Ran. We're going to find Xia Chen. Boss, do you really know where Xia Chen is? I'm guessing that he should be in that place. We'll know once we go take a look. Long Chen smiled. If Guo Ran had been transported to the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College, then Xia Chen should be in that place. Boat. The flying boat pierced through a barrier. After that, countless startled cries rang out. What's going on? Someone from the Old Devil Star Field has come out. The experts guarding the entrance to the Old Devil Star Field didn't dare to believe their eyes. They stared at that flying boat, completely stunned. Chapter 3638 Heavenly Talisman Star Field Spirit Rune Pavilion Once they were out of the Old Devil Star Field, Long Chen and Guo Ran found a place to rest. However, they didn't enter a city, but went to a deep mountain range instead. Boss, the aura here doesn't feel quite the same as in the All Devil Star Field. I feel like it's easier to breathe here, said Guo Ran. That is due to the spirit of the All Devil Star Field not being very friendly toward the human race. It instead feels a bit closer to the All Devil race and the Devil Beasts, said Long Chen. No way. Isn't the spirit of heaven and earth impartial? And isn't the human race the spirit of the ten thousand creatures? Even if it is to be biased, it should be biased toward the human race. The martial heaven continent's spirit gave everything to us. Why would the old devil Starfield's spirit be biased toward the devil race? Demanded Gua Ran. Long Chen shook his head. I'm also not sure about the details. In any case, when I entered the All Devil Star Field, I felt that this world wasn't very friendly toward me. I'm already used to such a feeling, but then I found out that it wasn't targeting me specifically, but the whole human race. I brought it up with Dean Zhu Yifin. He said that the All Devil Star Field was not the human race's territory at the start. There was a giant devil tide eruption that resulted in the devil race overflowing to the nearby worlds. When the human race fought back, they followed the tide back to the source and found the old devil star field. As a result, the human race gradually spread roots in the old devil star field. From the viewpoint of the old devil star field's spirit, the human race should be considered the invaders. Furthermore, the human race is constantly excavating the ores and smelting immortal metals. We damage the environment, so it's normal for the human race not to be well viewed. So that's the case. Long Chen continued, Furthermore, I've gone through the Old Devil Star Field's history. 
there has never been a human to advance to the divine venerate realm in the all devil star field big brother zayed kuhung only became a divine venerate after leaving the all devil star field although i'm not clear on the divine venerate realm i suspect that the reason dean zu yifin was stuck as a half-step divine venerate is related to the all devil star fields spirit how hateful the all devil star fields spirit refuses to let the human race advance inside of its territory raged pua ran that's possible but we can't be sure said long chen h m p h the old devil race is so savage yet the old devil starfield's spirit actually supports them what a defiance of natural order boss you have to think of a way to erase that spirit said guo ran emphatically long chen looked at guo ran and smiled slightly when looking at problems you shouldn't just look from your viewpoint if you didn't look from the side of the human race and instead viewed it as a spectator you wouldn't think that way what are you talking about the all devil race is savage but is the human race any better asked long chen well is the human race not savage just think about the path we walked we've killed many savage life forms but have i killed no humans are we more afraid of the savage devil race or are we more afraid of the savage human race were the ones to cause us the most harm from the devil race no the ones to hurt us the most are almost always humans humans are greedy humans are hypocritical humans are brutal humans are cheaters we carry out countless ugly conducts for personal gain if you weren't human would you like the human race asked long chen it seems i wouldn't really like the human race this is depressing yua ran bitterly smiled just before he had been full of hatred for the old devil spirit but now he could only sigh what is so depressing human nature has an ugly side but it also has a beautiful side kindness bravery diligence these are all parts of the human race as well caring about others being able to risk their lives fearlessly for others can other races do that long chen smiled that's also right guo ran smiled long chen scolded him with a smile can you form your own opinion you're just agreeing with whatever i say why don't you think about it yourself since i'm following boss and boss is always right why bother i can't be bothered to vex myself like that chortled guo ran speaking of which boss did you end up injuring yourself last time why do you need this break to recover old devil tianai's supreme bone was truly terrifying the wound it left behind contains a strange law after breaking my bones its devil kai invaded my flesh and soul using my own power i erased about eighty per cent of it but the remaining twenty per cent can only be slowly ground away however in the all devil star field the heavenly Tao's support the power of the all devil race so i had to leave before fully recovering explained long chen all devil chanai's supreme bone was truly strange it contained a power that long chen had never encountered before if it weren't for his abundant violet kai and astral energy he would have very likely lost however long chen still had absolute confidence in himself this time he had gathered enough medicinal ingredients once all six stars turned violet he could condense the violet tower star when he summoned the seven star battle armor who would he have to fear Navaloon, come damn this supreme bone is even stronger than i imagined exclaimed guo ran of course it is i estimate that old devil tianai had not used even a tenth of this supreme bone's power of course with his realm that was his limit any more than that and the supreme bone would have blown him apart this supreme bone has limitless potential nourish it properly so that you can subdue it sooner said long chen only he knew just how terrifying a supreme bone was 
having experienced it himself. Bus it it. Gua ran suddenly cried out. What is it? The supreme bone. It's starting to absorb my energy. It is accepting my nourishing. Gua ran was delighted. Most likely, leaving the old devil Starfield caused it to lose any further supply of energy. Not wanting to be destroyed, it could only accept another source of energy. Excellent. This is a good start. Keep nourishing it with your mind. Make it grow dependent on you. Gradually erase any sense of hostility, and you'll have completed the first step, said Long Chen. Ha ha ha, I have a supreme bone. I'll have a supreme arm. I'll be a supreme genius. Yuo Ran cried out excitedly. He could already see himself being a supreme expert overlooking the entire world. Long Chen couldn't be bothered knocking down his dreams. Yuo Ran hadn't even finished the first step, but he was already dreaming. At this moment, Long Chen was using heavenly Tao energy to heal his wounds. Huo Linger and Lei Linger also slowly recovered. Last time, if it hadn't been for the two of them helping him defend against that terrifying backlash, he would have been unable to control his final attack. They had yet to recover, so he didn't dare to run around randomly. After resting for ten days, Huo Linger and Lei Linger finally recovered their energy. As for Long Chen, he had long since reached his peak condition. Move out. We're coming, Heavenly Talisman, Starfield, Spirit Rune Pavilion. Chapter 3639 Talisman Master Once they were out of the old devil, Starfield, Long Chen and Kyu Ran found a place to rest. However, they didn't enter a city but went to a deep mountain range instead. Boss, the aura here doesn't feel quite the same as in the old devil's star field. I feel like it's easier to breathe here, said Guo Ran. That is due to the spirit of the old devil's star field not being very friendly toward the human race. It instead feels a bit closer to the old devil race and the devil beasts, said Long Chen. No way. Isn't the spirit of heaven and earth impartial? And isn't the human race the spirit of the ten thousand creatures? Even if it is to be biased, it should be biased toward the human race. The martial heaven continent's spirit gave everything to us. Why would the old devil Starfield's spirit be biased toward the devil race? Demanded Gua Ran. Long Chen shook his head. I'm also not sure about the details. In any case, when I entered the old devil star field, I felt that this world wasn't very friendly toward me. I'm already used to such a feeling, but then I found out that it wasn't targeting me specifically, but the whole human race. I brought it up with Dean Zhu Yiffen. He said that the old devil star field was not the human race's territory at the start. There was a giant devil tide eruption that resulted in the devil race overflowing to the nearby worlds. When the human race fought back, they followed the tide back to the source and found the old devil star field. As a result, the human race gradually spread roots in the old devil star field. From the viewpoint of the old devil star field's spirit, the human race should be considered the invaders. Furthermore, the human race is constantly excavating the ores and smelting immortal metals. We damage the environment, so it's normal for the human race not to be well viewed. So that's the case. Long Chen continued, Furthermore, I've gone through the old devil Starfield's history. There has never been a human to advance to the divine venerate realm in the old devil Starfield. Big Brother Zayed Yuong only became a divine venerate after leaving the old devil star field. Although I'm not clear on the divine venerate realm, I suspect that the reason Dean Zhu Yifen was stuck as a half-step divine venerate is related to the old devil star field's spirit. Pow hateful! The old devil star field's spirit refuses to let the human race advance inside of its territory, raged Gua Ran. That's possible. But we can't be sure, said Long Chen. HMPH, 
the old evil race is so savage yet the old evil star fields spirit actually supports them what a defiance of natural order boss you have to think of a way to erase that spirit said gua ran emphatically long chen looked at gua ran and smiled slightly when looking at problems you shouldn't just look from your viewpoint if you didn't look from the side of the human race and instead viewed it as a spectator you wouldn't think that way what are you talking about the old devil race is savage but is the human race any better asked long chen well is the human race not savage just think about the path we walked we've killed many savage life forms but have i killed no humans are we more afraid of the savage devil race or are we more afraid of the savage human race were the ones to cause us the most harm from the devil race no the ones to hurt us the most are almost always humans humans are greedy humans are hypocritical humans are brutal humans are cheaters we carry out countless ugly conducts for personal gain if you weren't human would you like the human race asked long chen it seems i wouldn't really like the human race this is depressing gua ran bitterly smiled just before he had been full of hatred for the old devil spirit but now he could only sigh what is so depressing human nature has an ugly side but it also has a beautiful side kindness bravery diligence these are all parts of the human race as well caring about others being able to risk their lives fearlessly for others can other races do that long chen smiled that's also right gua ran smiled long chen scolded him with a smile can you form your own opinion you're just agreeing with whatever i say why don't you think about it yourself since i'm following boss and boss is always right why bother i can't be bothered to vex myself like that chortled gua ran speaking of which boss did you end up injuring yourself last time why do you need this break to recover old evil tianai's supreme bone was truly terrifying the wound it left behind contains a strange law after breaking my bones its devil kai invaded my flesh and soul using my own power i erased about eighty per cent of it but the remaining twenty per cent can only be slowly ground away however in the old devil star field the heavenly Tao's support the power of the old devil race so i had to leave before fully recovering explained long chen old devil tianai's supreme bone was truly strange it contained a power that long chen had never encountered before if it weren't for his abundant violet kai and astral energy he would have very likely lost however long chen still had absolute confidence in himself this time he had gathered enough medicinal ingredients once all six stars turned violet he could condense the violet tower star when he summoned the seven star battle armor who would he have to fear damn this supreme bone is even stronger than i imagined exclaimed gua ran of course it is i estimate that old devil tianai had not used even a tenth of this supreme bone's power of course with his realm that was his limit any more than that and the supreme bone would have blown him apart this supreme bone has limitless potential nourish it properly so that you can subdue it sooner said long chen only he knew just how terrifying a supreme bone was having experienced it himself bus it it yuo ran suddenly cried out what is it the supreme bone it's starting to absorb my energy it is accepting my nourishing yuo ran was delighted most likely leaving the old devil star field caused it to lose any further supply of energy not wanting to be destroyed it could only accept another source of energy excellent this is a good start keep nourishing it with your mind make it grow dependent on you gradually erase any sense of hostility and you'll have completed the first step said long chen 
ha ha i have a supreme bone i'll have a supreme arm i'll be a supreme genius Kuo ran cried out excitedly he could already see himself being a supreme expert overlooking the entire world long chen couldn't be bothered knocking down his dreams Guo Ren hadn't even finished the first step, but he was already dreaming. At this moment, Long Chen was using Heavenly Tao energy to heal his wounds. Guo Linger and Lei Linger also slowly recovered. Last time, if it hadn't been for the two of them helping him defend against that terrifying backlash, he would have been unable to control his final attack. They had yet to recover, so he didn't dare to run around randomly. After resting for ten days, Huo Linger and Lei Linger finally recovered their energy. As for Long Chen, he had long since reached his peak condition. Move out. We're coming, Heavenly Talisman, Star Field, Spirit Rune Pavilion. Chapter 3640 Betraying the Master Long Chen and Huo Ran had just come out of the transportation formation when they were swarmed by a group of people. It wasn't just them. The people who had taken the transportation formation with them were also flabbergasted. Brother, it's your first time coming to our heavenly talisman, Starfield, isn't it? I can see that you are exceptionally talented. Based on your bone structure, you are a good seedling for becoming a talisman master. Our sect is currently recruiting, and the admission fee is very cheap. It's just thirty immortal king crystals, and once you pass, you'll have direct access to the sect's talisman arts. Someone enthusiastically grabbed Guo Ran. He was so excited it looked like he was reuniting with an old brother from many years ago. No, 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 I'm not here to learn talisman arts. Guo Ran hastily shook his head. You're not here for learning. That's fine, too. Having just arrived... You must not be aware of the situation on our side. Let me give you introductions. Don't worry, it's all free. Brother, do you see? Here are the best goods. Anything you want can be found here. That person directly opened a small pouch on his waist when Guo Rant said that he didn't come to join a sect. Inside was a pile of talismans. This novel is available on Noveloon. Calm some of these talismans were the size of a fist, while the smaller ones were the size of a single thumb. They also came in different colors, bright and gaudy. They were very attractive. Long Chen and Guo Ran were intrigued. They weren't afraid of being cheated. Seeing that he had piqued their interest, that person delightedly said, Brothers, take a look at this. This is a titan talisman. Here is a voice alteration talisman. This is an appearance changing talisman. Ground contracting talisman, fixed space transportation talisman, and many more. Hee <laughs> hee, this is one that men like the most the golden, unbreakable spear talisman. That person pulled out a certain talisman with a rather wretched smile. Golden, unbreakable spear talisman. Long Chen and Guo Ran were flabbergasted. He he, just stick this to your waist, and you can move forward and backward ten times in the blink of an eye. Put two, and it's twenty times. But I don't recommend going past ten of these at once. Why? asked Guo Ran. Because if you go too fast, you might start a fire. Laugh that person. Long Chen and Guo Ran almost laughed. This little fellow's eloquence wasn't bad. Even as a seller, he was quite humorous. What do you think? Do you want a few? I sell them in sets of a hundred, with each one costing six immortal king crystals. But seeing that we have a destiny together and I haven't started selling yet today, I still have plenty of extras. I'll sell them half off for you. One set for three hundred immortal king crystals. How is that? Isn't that a good deal? That man patted his chest. I really can't use this. When I was with my brothers, they always bragged, saying that they didn't lose even after an hour. 
Others said that they did it seven times in one night. When they asked me how many times I'd do it, I told them just once and they looked down on me. So I told them that every time the sun starts to rise, my Dao companion asks for a break, said Gyuo Ran helplessly. After eyeing Gyuo Ran for a bit, he felt that the latter looked like a chicken and wasn't very strong in that regard. But he didn't feel good exposing Gyuo Ran. Otherwise, this conversation would run into a dead end and his business efforts would end in failure. He he, I was wrong, I misjudged. So brother is so amazing. Junior brother apologizes. However, I also have many other goods here. Look at this earth contracting talisman. Put one on your left and right legs, and your legs will be like wheels. Your speed will at least double. This shield talisman, when it's crushed, it forms a spatial shield that can block the full power attack of a divine lord. This titan talisman, it's even more powerful. Put one on each arm. Don't think that I look like some weak chicken. With these talismans, I can lift up the entire heavenly talisman star field. Bragged that fellow. What nonsense. How can a talisman possibly have such an effect? You a ran naturally refused to believe such a thing. Long Chen was first startled, but then smiled without saying anything. Do you want to bet? We'll just have a small wager of a hundred immortal king crystals. I'll immediately put on the talismans and show you, declared that fellow seemingly angered at being called a liar. No problem. Go ahead. Kyo Ran refused to believe it. Look closely. That person placed a talisman on each of his arms. Gyuo Ran then saw the talismans light up, and this fellow's arms instantly thickened a whole level. Veins throbbed on them. Gyuo Ran jumped in shock, having never seen such a sight before. After taking a deep breath, that person placed his hands on the earth, and then cleanly did a handstand. What the fuck? You Fine, here are a hundred immortal king crystals. I'll treat it as a lesson. Hugh Oran was speechless. How did lifting up the entire star field become such a thing? He actually fell for it. Hugh Oran directly tossed out a hundred immortal king crystals, delighting this fellow. Although he often used this move to make a little money, most people wouldn't give him so much. At most, they would give half. Most people just threw out a few immortal king crystals, treating it as giving money to a beggar. Sometimes, he would misjudge and pick a tough person who might give him a beating for this. It was his first time running into someone as refreshing as Gyuo Ran. After receiving Gyuo Ran's immortal king crystals, he even felt a bit embarrassed. How about I give you ten golden, unbreakable spear talismans? You can test the result, and if you want more, come find me. I'll give you the lowest price. You can give up on that. I don't have a Tao companion, so I have no use for it. Hua Ren shook his head. Seeing that the two of them had done their idle talk, Long Chen said, Junior brother, as a native to this place, you should have more information about it. Tell me, do you know of the Spirit Rune Pavilion? Of course I know it. The Spirit Rune Pavilion's name is known to everyone within the heavenly talisman star field. Long Chen asked, Then do you know someone called Zaya Chen? The Zaya character is for summer, and the Chen is for daybreak. Upon hearing Zaya Chen's name, an expression of comprehension came across that person's face. So you came from outside to hunt down Zaya Chen? Hunt down Zaya Chen? Long Chen and Gyuo Ran's hearts shook. Long Chen hastily asked, I want to know everything about Zaya Chen. Seeing that this fellow was a bit hesitant, Long Chen directly tossed him a bag. When he opened the bag, he jumped in shock. There were a full ten thousand immortal king crystals inside. It seems that the two of you have some amazing origins. All right, then. There are too many people here, so let's switch locations. 
that person looked to his left and right. Long Chen nodded and entered the city with this person. They then found a secluded tea house with a private room for the three of them. Just as that person was about to speak, Long Chen first said, I need to know everything. I'll add another ten thousand immortal king crystals after. But if you treat me as a rich fool, I'll simply do a soul search. That person jumped. He just had a thought about making more money this way when Long Chen's gaze seemed to see through his soul. He felt a chill. He even began to sweat and hastily said, All right, I'll tell you everything. I won't conceal anything. Zaya Chen was originally a disciple of the Spirit Rune Pavilion. However, after committing the grave sin of betraying his sect and master, there is now a warrant for him throughout the heavenly talisman star field. If he's alive, he's to be captured. If he's dead, they want to see his corpse. This news caused Long Chen and Guo Ran's expressions to change.